Good afternoon. I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome on in. Sorry for the late start here. <laughs> oh, so good afternoon, Cthulhu. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the horn shifty and welcome on in, Goat. Just printed off 72 pages of dress pattern. Oh, good wow. God. Oh, heck. <laughs> Wait, I haven't even changed screens yet. Hello. <laughs> Wow. Good, thank you for the party! Wow. Oh, and enjoy the football, Connie! We like to party! We like, we like to party! We like to party! We like, we like to party! We like to party! We like, we like to party! We like to party! We like to party! We like to party! The Banker bus is coming! And everybody's jumping! New York to San Francisco! And interstate free disco! The wheels are still are turning! And traffic lights are burning! So if you like to party, come on and move your body. Thank you for the party. Welcome on in. What were you printing off Cthulhu that took 72 pages? Like, <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what what 72 page pattern have you <laughs> printing off? I think the most pages I've ever printed off was for making my own dress mannequin. And even that was not, not 72 pages. <laughs> Oh dear, how have you been? I've been okay, thank you, Cthulhu. We've had kind of a sleepy week here. I've not been uh, I've not been sleeping quite so much as I normally do, so I've been a bit like, wow, <laughs> most days. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's been good. You'll add the link in Discord. I am very curious as to what a 72-page pattern is. Like, I, I'm sure it's lovely and it's definitely worth it. It just seems like a lot of pages. Uh, so today, I have moved around some boxes that- so basically, we have a few craft boxes, as you can kind of see next to me here, but I have maybe like one-tenth of my stuff in this room right now. So like nine-tenths of it is elsewhere in the house, and there's a few things that I need for next week. So I've just been going through this morning trying to like pick stuff out, <laughs> and I may have ever so slightly pulled a muscle in my hand, because some of those boxes are heavy, and I wasn't expecting it. I mean, like, I, they're my boxes, but like, it's been a while, I haven't seen them. Uh, so, we're gonna be doing different kinds of petals today. But there's also, you know, good segue, let's do a different kind of flower. Because I've hurt my hand. <laughs> oh no, you let it lie to chat, thank you! Also, Amazonia, welcome on in, I hope you're doing well. We're just having a little look, because Cthulhu's just printed off a 72 page pattern. Oh, I don't really want to download it. Would you mind just telling me what it is, Cthulhu? Because I'll be honest, I don't, I don't really want to download a pattern right there. <laughs> While I'm live on stream, <laughs> I'll tank. I'll tank my uh, frame rate. <laughs> oh, you added a picture. Thank you. There we are. Ooh. Oh, that's very nice. What? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Is it for anything in particular? Is it for your snow cream, or is it for something else? Sorry. No. 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 Don't worry. <laughs> Good. Just something cool. Benefits offer. The lady was nice. Actually. <laughs> It's suspicious. Oh, I'm glad that it kind of went well though. Um, I've only had uh, one because of like, what do you call it? Like benefits advisor meeting. And I can't, it was for Pip. Pip is known for being like pretty rough in the UK. It was rough. <laughs> oh, dude, is there a pig flying? Is hell freezing over? Yeah, normally they're so skeptical and like, which I guess is kind of their job, but also, eh? Snow Queen, I'm gonna mock it up and make some changes. Nice, don't be silly, you must have hallucinated, yeah. <laughs> you, mu you must have fallen asleep as soon as you entered the room. <laughs> oh, yours are cool. Then you must have fell asleep as soon as you answered the phone. It can't be real. Oh, dear. I know, right? <laughs> I'm glad it went well, though. No, I like, legitimately, I'm really glad that it went good. You don't hear too many people having good experiences with that sort of thing, so I'm glad that it was alright. Also, San Nikoi, welcome on in! I hope you're doing well! How is all your cosplay stuff going? I hope it's going good. Ah, dear, we were talking about you yesterday. <laughs> in a good way, I swear. <laughs> we were trying to find creators in the makers and crafting section that weren't like pits of filth. <laughs> and I, th I think we found you and Yania, and that was it. <laughs> It's a concept sketching. I saw, I saw a picture of that on on Twitter. I think maybe I saw it on something. It looked really cool. Way more in detail than anything I do. I thought it was sick. <laughs> oh dear. We are actually going to be doing a bit of embroidery next week. Although I'm not sure exactly how much I should give away about what we're doing. 
Um, we're making baubles. We're, do we're doing that. I can say that because that's on our event thing. But yeah, we we're doing some special streams next week for the Starlight Foundation. And I've got I've got lots of stuff coming. I'm also using a lot of stuff in my drawers, <laughs> which will be nice. God. Yeah, if I'm like wiggling my hand, my thumb is like, I, I don't know what I did. It, it is very unhappy. <laughs> well, I do know what I did. I picked up something that's probably too heavy for me. Oh, worth it though, because I've got the stuff that I needed. Bulbuls, yeah, well, it's we've got some charity streams next year. Every year we do streams for the Starlight Foundation. Uh, it, it's a charity that I really, really like, and they do 12 days of Starlight. So we, we're doing two days this week. And uh, this week, they're doing two days next week. <laughs> uh, Megas aren't filth, impossible, surely. Haven't y'all seen the say the craft room? It's a mess. That's not the kind of filth we were talking about. <laughs> Christmas 2020, I did Bulbuls and Etsy. Never again, never. Wait, how bad was it? Oh, you saw that five minutes after launch? Oh, oh, okay. I was like, wait, that's fantastic. But, ah. Yeah. <laughs> it not being, it not being pre-made stock is, ah. How many did you have to make out of interest? I'm just curious. Did you have like just one lift listing per, per item or did you do like, I'll do five of this one, six of this one, yada, yada, yada. Most of the customers were American. See, that's one thing that puts me off. I, again, I don't know what it's like in the rest of the UK. In Wales, if you're sending stuff to another country, you have to put like, you know, your, your, your name, your address, your mother's maiden name, your account number, everything on the postage. So it's like really difficult not to dox yourself, uh, which means until I have a PO box, I can't really imagine selling things commercially because I will always have to dox myself one way or another. I honestly, the way you post things in Wales is like, it's fantastic. <laughs> oh dear. That kind of feel just proved the point. Yeah, it's like you, Yania, and I don't remember if we had anyone. Oh, and sometimes the Gunpla community, but sometimes. <laughs> We're not, not the Lego community, just the Gunpla community. <laughs> Also, bro, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. I had three variants and I sold 30 of each, but each took a lot of work. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's not a Wales thing. Uh, any commercial sales, you've got to dox yourself and it's annoying. Yeah, so until I have a PO box, it's not happening. Uh, it's just not, not long-term safe. <laughs> but maybe one day. Yeah, well, that being said, not 90 baubles. <laughs> Not 90 baubles, absolutely not. I don't think I could ever do it. Uh, well, not not until my migraines are a bit better, like selling stuff that isn't pre-made. I would like to pre-make stuff one day and try selling it, but I need to be in a better health position and also have a PO box <laughs> so I don't dox myself constantly. Uh, that is a lot of baubles. <laughs> if you're lucky right now, I have an accountant and can use their address. Yeah, that's that's a good way of doing it. I for like because we did a giveaway of obviously the embroidery hoops last month. That I didn't use my address. I actually uh, <laughs> I had an agreement with uh, with some someone uh, to use a house that well, I don't think it's currently in. I don't, no one's living there, um, so I was able to use that. But um, that was like a one-time thing, and I'd asked them away in advance, like could you know I use that house, <laughs> and they were like, yeah, it's fine. Um, but normally that's not something that I have access to, and yeah, just don't want to be doxing myself every time I do a giveaway. <laughs> it's not ideal. Oh dear. I should say it also, if anyone did receive it and thought, oh, I'll keep note of that address and maybe send something to Jelly, don't do it. <laughs> it will, eventually it will just go to some random renter. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's how I've been getting around it. But again, it's like very much like I can do it every now and again for a giveaway, but I wouldn't be able to do it for selling stuff because it does become occupied. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, today, by the way, I should say I've got big candle. <laughs> this is going to be what we're using today. I don't know if people have seen these kind of flowers before. The way it works is it's a polyester fabric. Um, so it melts, but it also kind of warps when it goes under flame. So you cut lots of circles in different sizes and then they kind of end up becoming like this once you layer up the petals. This one is very layered. I think this is eight layers. Uh, we're only gonna be doing four layers because the petals in the images have, like, like the flowers in the images have less petals. So this is a very layered one. The one we'll be doing is a little bit less layered. That being said, if I don't like how it looks, I'll add more layers. <laughs> it's, it's not the end of the world. It's very easy to do. Um, this one as well, it's just really plain. I didn't paint it or anything like that. 
to be fair, the only painting you really need to do on the majority of them, like just around the edges to like darken the edges a little bit. And then on the very, very center one, whichever one you put in the middle, do that a little bit lighter. Uh, other than that, it's really easy. And I've got plenty of paints for that. We'll paint them all in one day just for that reason, because like, you know, it, it's not that hard. I'll probably end up using fabric pens even to outline the edges. Oh my god, Shifty, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Jelly Dress 01, the ocean. <laughs> International waters, you're right. That is me. Also, Sonny, welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome. Different flowers. I might do some embroidery testing. Heck yeah. But first, I gotta eat food and then actually finish. That's fair. What you did do? No, you did a lot of sorting the other day. Like, maybe there's some left over, but you still did quite a lot. And you did it while you were alive. <laughs> One, we did do some packing when we were alive, and it just kind of brought out the. God, I've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I need to I need to cut down on this. Uh, I, did, I did do a lot, but I didn't put any of the stuff away. But you know, you gotta make things messier before it gets better. Also, thank you for the luck, Shifty. Right, top down screen. Here it is, my candle. Um, what I would say is I've cut out some circles ahead of time. So like, for instance, we got some nice big ones here. What I might do is take them one, one batch at a time. So I think the batches are about of it's either six or eight, and I can't remember how many layers I cut them out in. But with each of these, they will need snips into them. I, I do tend to do it by eye because it makes them look random. Also, thank you for the horns, eh? Welcome on in. Um, I'm getting really confused because I've moved chat around. So normally chat's over there, but now it's over here. And so I'm like, chat, where have you gone? But it's because of this camera, because this camera would be in the way of you otherwise. I'd rather have it in the way of uh, wherever my, my camera is. Uh, I can, are we having fire? We are! It's been a while since we had fire on stream. Oh dear. Oh, I wondered who you were saying Lord, Lord to. I was like, who the hell said that in my chat? That oh, was me. <laughs> I was the one that said that. I took it hard and raw and spent the rest of the day gagging. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Does anyone remember what that was in context to? Yeah, you can measure it and you'll get really nice even petals. I was just gonna say like, I tend to do it by eye because that way you'll have occasionally like slightly smaller petals. Uh, and I, I just think that looks a bit better. The first time I did it, I measured them all out and they were very, very neat. And like nothing wrong with a neat flower, but yeah. And I'm cutting them maybe like in two thirds of the way to the center. So it's like one third, one third, one third. About to there. The one in the middle I'll probably do a little different, but the rest of them I can probably do to about those same measurements. It doesn't really matter. You burn them anyway. <laughs> we're having fun. We're having fire on speed. Fire on Jenny. You were talking about raw vegetables. Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That's, that would make sense. I was like, I'm sure it's about me eating something I'm not meant to eat. Yeah, that would have been that salad that I had, I think. It was a delicious salad, but it had uh, some raw veggies in it, and my stomach is very, very, very sensitive bean. <laughs> Gets very upset very easily. And yeah, that was a, that was a, that was rough. <laughs> that was really rough. <laughs> All right, that's the first one cut. What we'll do then is set my candle on fire and start getting that burning. I put a, like a little plastic thing and I've melted some wax into it so it doesn't move. Oh, there you go. I'll let that just get started up because it might go out a little bit. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, and that's just for the wax to drop into. Oh dear. God, I get confused. <laughs> oh no, I'm not lurking. I was. Oh, okay, you're fine. Oh, welcome, welcome on in then. It's nice to have you here. Sorry, sorry, Shifty. I got very confused. Uh, I don't know if I can go already. It's been a long time and this is thinner fabric than I'm used to working with. But we'll give it a go. Just take it near the flame. And if I need to bring you guys closer, I will, just so you can see. if I get one so it does like that and then I'm just gonna go up the flower oh <laughs> there it goes all right I might have cut these a little deep but that's okay these are really gonna go oh no I have probably cut these ones too deep because I need to get into the crevices all right that's fine next one it's too thin and it's gonna flop everywhere and I'd rather I'd rather be safe. So let's do smaller ones and see how that looks. Fact is I can always cut them deeper if I need to, but we'll go the half the size that we did the first time. I should say as well this fabric is 
It's just like a polyester lining fabric. It's very cheap. It doesn't cost very much. It's like the nasty cheap lining fabric that they say, don't make cosplays with that. It's gross. <laughs> but it's perfect for flowers. Also, I did just make a whole cosplay out of this. <laughs> oh dear. Delicious, delicious, gross lining fabric. There we go. Join us for crafting and seances. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I do seance. Wow. With this. There we go. That's a bit better. I'm gonna have to make sure they're all going the same way because some of them seem to want to curl one way and some of them want to curl the other. But that's okay. We, I, I can force them to go the way that I want them to go. Probably because it's a slightly thinner fabric than I'm used to using. That's okay though. Once again. Oh, there we go. Around that. Wow. Get all the edge there. <laughs> and then that's our first little layout. Now I will. I'm gonna have to see if it reacts badly. Sometimes, yeah, pinch it a little bit. Wow. Oh, that's probably a bit off center. But basically you get that in the center and it will like pull all the flowers in a little bit. Having it there's not really a problem because it'll get covered anyway, but oh, I kind of, I really want to see if it'll go in the center properly. Nah, that's all right. It's all right. I can, I've been less happy with them. <laughs> uh, Scarlet and Violet are probably the best Pokemon games to date. You are? Oh my God, I'm so happy you're having fun with it, grab it. Yeah, I've seen obviously like, there's a lot of memes on Twitter right now because of the graphical errors and the fact that it's like, you know, it doesn't run particularly optimally. But if the game itself is fun, then I'm, I'm heckin', I'm heckin' glad. I'm, I'm glad you're having a really good time with it. All right, let's get that there. I think I'm probably also holding a little close to the fire. But you won't stop me. I'm gonna keep holding it close to the fire. Yeah, nice. All right, when we go to the center, I'm gonna try and get it, oh, dead on next time. What? Okay, all right. Try and get it properly. Oh, oh, that's not so bad. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm laying them up on top of me. Ah, oh, it's fine, it's fine. I'll, I'll remember what size is what size. It's all good. So many Pokemon uh, great Pokemon character size makes me find worth forgiving the few atrocious ones. Fah! They're not bugs in the game, they're features. True. Also, Epi, welcome on in. Thank you for the hydrate. I will do in just a second. Listen, I'm very busy burning things. <laughs> also, Danny, welcome on in. I hope you're also doing well. Welcome to... I think this is probably the easiest way of making flowers ever. They do become quite rough and they'll all be random. Like if you're trying to make uniform flowers, this is a terrible idea, but if you don't care about them being uniform, like, yeah, this is <laughs> one of the easiest ways. Cause it's just melting polyester so that it crim cripples up like a flower petal. I have to stop speaking so hard. <laughs> My candle's like, yay! <laughs> oh dear. Right, I want to get that bit in there cause that's not properly done. There you go. It's better. Wow. Can we get in the middle? Middle. Yeah, there we go. Again, it's gone a bit more on one side than the other, but I like it when it creases in the middle because it pulls it all in. Heck yeah. Oh dear. I think a few minor graphical issues are partly because it's a new release, but also limitations of the Switch itself. That's the thing that kind of gets me though, is it's because it's the Switch, but also it's only going to be on the Switch. I'd feel differently if they were to put it across the PC. Petal Cat's just going to be for those, because these ones are so quick that it's like, and I don't also have like a set amount that I want to make. <laughs> you calling me a pyromaniac? What, do you not enjoy this? Is this not satisfying to you? Like watching the petals just like crimple up. Is this not satisfying? I'm sorry, everyone. I, you know, I, I saved this for stream because I thought you'd love to see it. Thought you'd be like, hell yeah, look at look at Jenny making all these petals. And it's like, it's, it's, not, it's not cool, you know, I don't have to do it. <laughs> oh dear. I was gonna make a comment, but I'm not sure if it crosses the line or not. Go on. If it crosses the line, we'll delete it. <laughs> Test me, it's fine. <laughs> Oh dear. Pokemon games are ooh, designed for very specific designs, so there's no excuse for bugs like that. Makes it clear it was a rush job to get the game out for the holiday holly yays. 
You know what? No, no, no. You don't need to correct that. Hollow yays. I like hollow yays. All right. Make the flowers crippled so you can win. <laughs> My grains won't leave me. Oh, bless you, Feathered. I, thank you as well for the information earlier. I'm still a bit dubious, to be honest. But also, it did make me research something else, which I'm, I, which I get, I think would be really dumb, but it's really funny. Um, which is like obviously the genetic modification of uh, plants and vegetables and stuff like that that started around the same sort of time. And I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if Silent Hill F was just like. A cautionary tale about putting too much radiation in like carrots or something. <laughs> I really like that idea. I don't I don't think that I do that is what it's going to be, but like I don't know, something about that, it tickles me. I think that's funny. Come on. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. There you go. Whoa! Wah. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, make sure you look after yourself. And that you're not you're not pushing pushing yourself to the point of making a migraine worse. Wah. There we go. I will say, don't worry too much about me as well. I am keeping my hand pretty far away from the flame. Uh, also, for two reasons: one, because I don't want to burn myself live on stream, but also because uh, it, you don't need to be that close to the flame. <laughs> the the fabric's really really thin, so as soon as it just starts getting like a little bit too toasty, it's like hell yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll up right now. Very nice. Yeah, the only time I'm going in a bit closer is when I want to singe a specific edge. I'm sure there's tweezers and stuff like this, but you don't really need it though. Like, you don't get, like, I think it's, the fabric burns at a, a much lower temperature than I do. Because, like, I can't even barely feel the flame this high up, and yet the fabric is, like, shrinking. <laughs> oh dear. I will say this is working a lot better than those first ones, so yeah. We're getting into the feet vibe of it. A few people like Zay, for instance, will have seen us do this before, because we did this when we were making the Corva Squire headpiece. Uh, I also did it all over the, uh, what do you call it? Silvari costume, but I did that obviously before I started streaming. But these flowers are all over that costume, and leaves too. There you go. Come on. Get that specific corner. You got this. There you go. And then... Nice. Oh, mm, could I go a bit more than that? Maybe. There you go. Uh, maybe a little bit. There. There you go. <laughs> Make them more intense as I go. Ah, oh, I'm well. The whole site is weird AF. It's about the experiments of radiation and plants. People were more than a little deranged back then. But it ended up leading to like basically the, you know, genetically modifying plants so that they produce more fruit or so that they get larger. And that's at the end of the day where a lot of our vegetables today come from, where it's like, you know, that addition of radiation meant that we got specific gene mutations in uh, the, the vegetables and the plants so that now they just continue using those mutated versions of the plants. Not obviously full of radiation, but like that were born from that because they produce more or larger fruit and stuff. Again, which is why I think it'd be really funny if, if that was what Silent Hill F was about, but you know, uh, <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I, I don't think that's probably it, but I really like the idea of that, of it being just like, careful if you put radiation in your food, well no. Oh, I don't like that bit. I'm gonna snip that off and do that bit again. Again, I don't mind a bit of randomness, but like that was. Oh, dude, two thousand. That was. <laughs> Welcome on in, Pit. I hope you're doing well. Also, the migraines is on its way out. I think just had the headache and pressure left. Oh, okay. Fingers crossed. Uh, it did, but damn the way they went about it. Yeah. Wah, there we go. That's our first. What I'll do is I'll do one, uh, like one round of each size, and then we'll go back because then I can start putting them together. 
But for instance, if I was only to use this size, it'd be kind of like... This is, again, much thicker than I want them to be, but you can make flowers like that quite easily. I mean, I'm just throwing them together, but... <laughs> oh, I do want to get rid of these. I have to recut those at some point. Uh, which one's the size down? Here it is. Oh dear. All right, thanks, how are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. A bit sleepy. Oh, that's gonna be, I think, a theme for a bit. I'm just gonna be like, hello, hello everyone. I am also tired again. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I'm doing okay, thank you. Uh, we're making a new type of petal today. I I'm saying a new type of petal, but like, I think you can kind of see, but it, you make the flowers so quickly that it, it's not quite the same as like with the other petal process where you're spending a very long time on each petal. It's very much just like cut them all together and then burn them all one after the other and then match them up and you're done. Oh dear. So it's a bit different. Oh dear. Some weird woman was putting on play to try and explain how the atomic adds. All the interpreted does. You know what? I admire their creativity. I haven't seen that before. Can you guys actually see what I'm doing? Should I? I should have put the camera on the other side, huh? Because I'm going to be using my uh, dominant hand for this. I can, I can probably do the other hand, but I don't know how accurate I'll be. Ugh. I didn't think of that. Wait a minute. Uh, ah, you know, actually, it's not that difficult. I'm being a wuss. It's actually fine. This is just the very, very carefully, like, going in and out. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> oh, I'll still use both to do this bit, but... There we go. One. Oh dear, different flowers, heavy, talk about it. That's, that's my secret, I'm always tired. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's kind of the vibe at the moment. It's like, hello, welcome to another not labeled sleepy stream because it's the afternoon and I shouldn't really be tired. However, <laughs> I am tired. Oh dear. That being said, I have a lot of things I'm really looking forward to doing over the next week or so. So hopefully get some energy back for next week. Because I got, I, got, I got things to do and I'm excited about them. Ugh. There you go. Different flowers, yeah, we, we're doing some different flowers. These ones kind of look like a mess until they're finished. But then once they're finished, it's like, oh. There we go. Whoop. Make sure that's all done. And then... There you go. Two. <laughs> oh dear, they're planning to do the play here in the UK and she was all excited because the size of the venue. Uh, she couldn't even show the exp Oh no. <gasps> Whoa. Oh dear, she couldn't even show the explosion, Jesus. Oh dear, I release some energy. Honestly, same. If people could like, you know, send a little energy over, that'd be fantastic. I have none. <laughs> Although, again, there are there are things I'm really excited about coming up, so that's always nice. I love having something to look forward to. And I'm really looking forward to the streams next week for the Starlight Foundation. And I'm honestly looking forward to actually getting some flowers finished. Uh, the reason I don't want to do too many of these ones early is because they're very, very quick. Um, so, like, they'll, they'll take up space in storage very quickly if I do all of them straight away. But I have cut quite a few to be done, so we'll, we'll be doing quite a few. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. And then, oh. Oh, actually, I don't like that. I don't like that very much. If you could just, uh... There you go. There you go. Get that in there done. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. So here, really excited for stuff ahead. Heck yeah! I always find that gives me a bit more energy. Also, today I found a lot of my, like, sequins and bits and bobs like that, so... That's really nice. I knew they were around, obviously, like, I'm probably no surprise to anyone in chat, but I have quite a few sequins in the house. But, you know, with the move and them not being a priority, I, I didn't actually know where they were, but I really wanted to find them before we started making baubles. Why am I holding it so close to the flat fire? <laughs> it's like, let's, let's just make my own life difficult really quickly. It only needs to melt a little bit. Wow. 
go. And get that. Who's going that way? Yeah, yeah, nice. Squished. Oh dear, secrets of Jenny's house? I know, right? Surprise. Who would have thought? No, I, d I do have quite a DJ. Thank you for the DJ. I do have quite a lot of secrets in the house, but I didn't know where any of them were. Again, it just wasn't a priority, so I wasn't like, you know, keeping an eye out for them. But then suddenly I was realizing, wait, I'm going to be making Christmas ornaments and I don't know where my sequins are. Like, <laughs> that's not allowed. I need to know where my Christmas ornaments are. Out of interest, what kind of Christmas ornaments do you guys put up, if you put up any at all? We always go for like the most sparkly, bright, colorful ones we can find. Those are those are very much the vibes of our house. We have a lot of homemade ones as well, not by me. This is why I've been saying like I should really be making them because like everyone in my family makes Christmas ornaments. And then there's me, <laughs> never made a Christmas ornament. So this is my first year doing it. Um, but yeah, a lot of them are gifts or they're like handmade and stuff like that. So very, very pretty. Oh, that went down one side a lot. Try getting the other side in there a bit. Hmm, that just doesn't want to do it. Come on. Eh. Ah, you know what, it'll do. It'll do. Ah, <laughs> uh, do anything gold. I love gold. None. Fair enough. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of anything gold, anything sparkly, anything brightly coloured. Most of the ones that have been given to me are pretty colourful as well, which helps because it just adds to that theme. Get in that gap. Hang on. <laughs> well, if you're wondering as well why the flame is moving so dramatically, that's me! I'm breathing on it. I put it right in my in my line of breathing. <laughs> Which means the flame's like, sometimes I'm over here and sometimes I'm over here. And I, I like, you know, keep myself on my toes. There you go. Oh dear. Yeah, I wanna make I wanna make some this year. Not like Amazonia. I don't know if I wanna make 90 Christmas ornaments this year, but <laughs> make some and mainly just for gifts oh yeah that's what we don't want i still got a bit further in there you go there we go excuse me let's not do that over the candle and then there we go come on get that in there there we go Thank you for the hicks. <laughs> my family never celebrated Christmas. We got a Christmas tree one year and I decapitated my sister's brat's girls. I put lights to them and hung them up. Oh my gosh, grab it. <laughs> Extreme flower making. It doesn't feel like it though. I used to just do this with tea lights. Uh, basically you just want a, a light, like a, a candle that doesn't have sides. So I, I still have a lot of tea lights left over from them. I might, you know, at some point switch over and do some with tea lights because I get my hand lower so you can see more, but for now we'll use the cost effective large candle. <laughs> Jelly, welcome on in, fellow Jello. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're making slightly different petals today. So having like a little bit of a break from the from the thread wrapping. We're doing these instead. And as you can see, they're very easy. <laughs> they're very easy. They're also very random if you're someone who's a perfectionist who doesn't like them things to look different. Uh, this might not be for you. But as long as you don't mind the fact that all of your petals are going to be a little bit random, uh, it's really good. And for, I think, realistic flowers, it's really good because of that. Because obviously, like, you know, most real flowers are a little different. Ah, oh dear. Right, that's the second largest size. And then take one of these ones. These aren't the smallest yet, but we're getting there. Ah, oh dear. Oh. I thought it was dope, my sister disagreed. I'm surprised. I like randomness and yeah, this would be the flower kind for you. Like the other flowers, they're very, very neat, but they're always, always kind of very similar. Whereas these ones, random. <laughs> Who knows what they'll look like until they're finished. Uh, so that, and I, I like that. There we go. They're really good for filling space. And that's probably what I'll end up using them for. It's filling a lot of space in this costume because they're very quick to make. If I run out, I can make like a lot more very quickly. The only thing that does slow it down a little bit will be painting each of the, the sets of petals. <laughs> you don't have to do that. And they look good even if you don't paint them. I just think 
because these are going to be next to a lot of flowers that are painted, they would look a little bit lost if they weren't. <laughs> if I wasn't painting any of them, it would be fine. But because I am, yeah, we're just uh, playing a bit safe. And, whoop, okay. And then, as we get smaller, I find they get a little bit harder because they're so quick to just go. <laughs> oh, did I just see a welcome one in? They look lovely and organic. Thank you! Yeah, they look... I, 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 I really like these flowers. I've used them on many, many costumes before because I'm just like, they're so easy and you can make them look really, really funky. Like, if you really just hold them over to the flame, you can get lots of, like, bubbles in them. I don't know how obvious it is, but, like, lots and lots of tiny bubbles in them and they can look very disfigured, <laughs> but in a really good way. I love hearts. So if I did it again, I'd do the same with the doll's head. <laughs> so the leaves and cobwebs and blood. Well, why not? You know, if you're decorating your own house, why not? You decorate it how you like. It's a strong nightmare before Christmas vibes. Hi, <laughs> Cecilia. I hope you're doing really good. I'm, cra I'm good. Wanted to stream, but the working from home to-do list is a little long, so you're cracking on with stuff. That's very fair. I kind of felt like that today. Um, in that, like, it felt like I, I need to sort a lot of things off. Probably not nearly as many as you, to be fair. Uh, since I, I, you know, I'm unemployed, <laughs> but it felt like I had a lot to, to tick off my list. There we go. There we are. Right, little teeny tiny one. I don't know if you can really tell as well, but when, when the edges are burned, they kind of feel like a little bit stiff around the edge. And then you're like, that's good. But when they're like this and they're a bit too floppy, let's put a little bit more in them. Oh, did you forget that I'm here already? Music. Ah, uh, the Oz unemployed. No jobs for the jellos. <laughs> no jobs for jellos. <laughs> oh, dear. Any one of those blanket cloaks you have, just like a really nice big blanket. Um, you have a, uh, a shores near you. I think that's what they're called, shores. They have really, really big blankets at the moment. I have a feeling that might be where this one was originally from, but also this is Shiny's blanket, not mine. <laughs> uh, for this morning, winter winter is fast approaching. Uh, dear, all is good as always tomorrow today. I feel like finishing off. That's good. You know what? You're being productive. Heck yeah. We, lo we love productivity. We're not always so productive ourselves, but we do love productivity. There we go. Ah, oh, I'm deprived of good blankets. You need to get good blankets. I think if actually, if there's any year to like invest in getting a blanket, this has got to be the year. Not only because it's meant to be quite a cold year, but also because heating is going to be so goddamn expensive. If there was any ever a time to justify getting a really nice blanket, this is the year. Go. Okay. Excuse me again. Oh god. One up here north. It's cold. Oh god. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's a. Uh, I have rain to stop. <laughs> oh dear, I am a John Snow. Mm. Wait a blanket for the wind. Audrey, welcome on in. We have a uh, we have an electric blanket, but it makes things very very warm. So like, it's good for prepping a bed if you want the bed to be warm when you get into it, kind of thing. But uh. It's a bit hot to sleep under, for the most part. <laughs> but honestly, it's nice to have it. Good for prepping a nice warm bed, not so good for sleeping in it. Oh, make sure it doesn't sink too far in there. Do, 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 do. We'll find out in a minute if I want to do more than four petals per thing as well. I think four will be enough, but it might be that I think it looks a bit empty and then we'll add more later. Wow, there I go. Now you think the other one's punishment and <laughs> Wow. Then who would protect? That's true, the mighty ball of the UK. We can't have an electric one as a cat loves to pat. Oh yeah. That that's a fair a fair reason not to get one. And to be fair, they really are just good. At least the one we've got is just good for warming up the bed. It's like, yeah. Does not replace a good solid blanket. Uh, my face arrived today for my Udi. Another reason I'm grumpy about this migraine. I can't run my machine. Oh no. It'll be fine, it'll go away. And then and then once you have the Udi, you have it forever. You just have to you just have to be patient, but I believe in you, Feather, you've got this. 
You do time consuming things all the time. You've got patience. <laughs> oh dear. I could hop over it. Yeah, not the most intimidating rule, but you know, it's, it's, it's there. But... Uh, DIY Erdi. Honestly, DIY Erdi, I think, is the, is the feeling for the season. Like, Erdi expensive. What if I make an Erdi? There we go. Oh, George, how nice to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Oh dear, how are you doing? How are you doing? I actually came across George earlier in a, a very sweet bee stream. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, Johnny, what's up? Is it... no. Wait, are you calling me short? I'm not short. <laughs> Udi, Louise, welcome on in Udi. Yeah, Udi is like a, a brand uh, where they make like blanket hoodies. So they're like really, really big, really, really warm. You can wear them around the house and stuff. I am not four foot five. That's not true. Are you sure? I am sure. It's very bad, George. It's late. Art. Art. I'm not titchy. I'm above average height. They're lying. They're lying to make you think I'm smaller than I am. I'm not super tall, but like I'm also, I'm very average. <laughs> Like, no, no, Jelly Jelly has an interesting height, let me tell you. No, I'm average! <laughs> Watching the English- oh, yeah! <laughs> so, I'm a ter- so, excuse me, I'm a terrible, terrible sports fan. Uh, is, it go is it going well for anyone? Is either team doing good? <laughs> is it a good sports ball match? Sure, average for goblins. Only if the goblins are the same height as humans. I think in Wales, I'm like actually a fair few inches above the average for, for women. Yeah, yeah. Averagely small. Spoiler? Nah, it's all right. You can tell me how the game's going. Uh, you don't have to spoiler it. If people want to watch the game, they'll be watching it. <laughs> Go. Averagely small. Tell us how it is. Average with children doesn't count. I swear. I come on this stream just to be told that I'm short. <laughs> it's going well for England. Two goals down. Who is England against? <laughs> so Sorry, I'm being a really bad sports fan. Who, who are we fighting? Uh, <laughs> Iran. Oh, okay. Yay. <laughs> How unusual. Well, I guess actually we've not been that bad recently. I'm just used to it being not super good. <laughs> fighting. <laughs> it's sports. Sports is fighting with rules, you know. Whoop, whoop. Okay. All right. That's all of this size. And then we only have the teeny, teeny, tiny one to go. Let's hope. Hope that I like this. We'll see. And if not, I can I can use them. It's just, you know, we'll see. Oh dear. Thank you for the luck, Bateman. I hope your day is going well. Excuse me. That is not a pin comment I needed. Oi oi oi. Bam 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 bam. Yeah. Get one of the small ones. Normally with the small ones I cut them into four rather than six. That being said. I think I am still gonna do six just for these flowers and I'll just cut them quite short. Cause yeah, with the really, really small ones, uh, it does get quite hard. It's much bigger with the, it's uh, so easy with the bigger ones. These small ones can be quite a pain in the ass. So we'll try it like this, see if it works. If not, I'll, I'll start cutting them into four instead of six. I just would prefer it to be six. I can live with four. Wah. Oh dear, you're making a different flower today, we are! So just doing the layers of them right now. Uh, I'm thinking four layers. Uh, I normally do them a little bit more layered, but then I, that's not really how these flowers are presenting. They're like a bit more, uh, like a far, like they're opener, more open, oh god. More opener than the ones that I, uh, I normally make. I don't know if that's the, the best verb, but they're opener. Um, these ones also I don't think I'll be burning them in the middle it'll make painting difficult okay 
just get that bit in there. Yeah. Nice. And that in there too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the small ones are difficult. If I layer one up now, so I'm, I know that I've got a lot to make, but I'm just like, if I quickly layer one up and just make sure that I'm happy, uh, that went on there. That goes, oh, I'll take a bit more of it, there you go. On there. And then take one of the very large ones. Uh, do I like it? Do I like it? Does it need more? Mm. No, you know what? I think that's fine. They're a, bit, they're a bit emptier than the ones I normally make, but I think it's a little bit more accurate for the kind of flowers these are going to end up being. But the only thing I'm like, do I maybe make it a little bit? Ah, this one's this one I maybe have overdone a little bit. That's okay. These were the ones as well that I was thinking of putting these in, right? Mm, that's a bit much for that. Do I even want the smallest one? I actually might only want three layers. Smallest one, beads. Yeah, you know what? Screw these small ones. I want them three layers. <laughs> it's not that I want more layers. It's actually I think that I want less layers. But what I want, this is better. That's okay. Ah, oh, dear. I just know the candle when you mentioned burning. <laughs> yeah, I think... Again, they're meant to be quite flat flowers. I think if I keep adding too many layers, I want my little fuzzy ring in there, which all of this will end up being painted, but like the little fuzzy fuzzy butthole ring, and then fill it with beads in the center. I think I think that'll look better. All right. <laughs> I'm going to start then uh, pinning all the ones I've got. Oh, do I want to pin them into flowers now though? No, you know what? We'll, we'll keep them pinned into size because that's really easy to remember. It's just one of each. And that way I use less pins. <laughs> Also, all of these will need to be painted. I don't think we'll be doing that today. I think we'll be more getting all of the sizes ready. Um, oh, is that a big one? Yeah, that's a big one. It will all need to be painted. Oh dear. Neb, yeah, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Uh, so the plan is to be going around the edges and I'm not sure if I want to do it in blue. I could do a couple tests for that now, actually. You know what? Let me just get that blown out for a second because there's no point in me having that using up all of its stuff. I'm thinking, do I want to shade them with black or blue? And there's a lot of me that's like, blue, I think, I think. Uh, because I, I'm, I'm starting to think maybe I do just tinge everything with blue rather than shading everything just with, with black. And I have a few things. I have black, but I have blue as like a, a little, little pen one the thing is with this is it probably needs to be a little bit darker than this i might need to mix it and then use a paintbrush mm. you're fine thank you i'm glad to hear it um the other thing is i probably need some paper down because these these are so thin the paint's gonna go straight through it let me i do have some paper around uh do i have any do i need two hands though i mean today is kind of a test room working out what i actually want to do so, you know what? I don't mind doing a few tests. Hmm. I'll just use some of this. <laughs> it's low quality paper, and this is low quality fabric. <laughs> so, my thought is that I want the edges to be a bit darker. If I want to go around it first with black and maybe dry brush that on, and then... Ugh. Do I have any paint brushes nearby? I did have one, I thought. Where did I put it though? Is it in here? No, it's not with the beads. Two seconds, it might be the other side of the room. Ooh. Oh, no, that's, that is a paintbrush, that is not the paintbrush that I think I wanted. But you know what, I could use it. It's a little big, <laughs> but it, it will do, it'll, it'll do the job. Yeah, what I think I wanna do is add like a little bit of darkness and then add some blue to like highlight it almost. But I'd again, I'm not, oh, that's the one I haven't opened. Where's the one that I have opened? Where is the one that I have opened? Uh, uh. Huh. That's a, that's a mystery. Did I put it over the other side? No. Where the hell did I put it? 
I have I have an open one somewhere. Oh, the most organized stream you ever did see. I do have another one for you. That's just a different brand, but I think it's fine. This one is open. Yeah, because I don't need very much of it. I don't really want to be opening a whole whole pot of black paint when I only need a teeny tiny bit. I just want to get the edges a little bit darkered. Darkered? Darkened? Boop, 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 boop. It does darken them a little bit anyway uh, when when they're burnt. I think there's a part of me that's like, do I want to add blue to that? Like, it's nice. I definitely don't hate just the black. But... Part of me is like, you want to do it in blue though. Uh, I do have, again, I could probably just put some of it on this and like mix it up a little bit. That might be the best way of doing it, honestly. Excuse me, just dabbing out some blue. There you go. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. I see it. Thank you for the look. Oh, they're looking cool. Thank you. I mean, they're very much early stages, but I don't know. I... I'm trying to work out how I'm going to want to do them because obviously, like, these are sort of tests, but eventually we will be making a lot of these. Get that bit drier. There you go. But, like, how do I want to do it? What do I want to shade it with? Do I want to go more black or do I want to go more blue? And I think, yeah, you know what? I actually like that. I think we're going to go with the blue in it. The black's fine. It does get the job done, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm very much taken by adding some blue into it. Ah, oh dear. It's good, good test, good test. I'm glad we tested the black so I could say no. And then just to make sure we get a bit more of it. It depends as well if we'll have... That's one thing I was meaning to do. I need to email some people, but whether or not um, there'll be any more trailers where the lighting is different. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't work at Silent Hill. <laughs> I don't know when they're planning even on releasing their next trailer for it. I mean, people are saying that the game probably won't come out until... Uh, until... What is it? 2025 <laughs> so there's a fair amount of time for them to make those kind of decisions oh sorry I, i'm just uh what do you call it using the paper at the moment to to get the colors mixed if i was doing it in bulk i, I would properly mix colors i promise <laughs> please do not lose faith in me yet I, I would i swear use like i mix up proper colors to do it it's just it's only one <laughs> I just want the edges to look a little bit bruised. And this is also what we'll end up doing to the other ones as well, although they're not quite so dark. There you go. Yeah! Yeah! Blue! And... Again, there's already slightly darker areas where it's like ever so slightly extra, extra burn the edges. Oh, do I need a bit more black? I do. Yeah, and around that edge. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck to it because I'm, lean I'm leaning on it. Okay. I am a fan. I do think I want some like more specifically blue bits in it, but I don't know. I don't know how the best way to get that. Would it be like a really, really tiny, tiny paintbrush? Don't know where that is. Oh dear, lots of petals. <laughs> These are certainly faster. They are. I want to go around and darken the edges of all of them a little bit, and I do want to put some blue on it, but I don't know where my teeny tiny paintbrush is. I could probably just use a pen. <laughs> Maybe. We're just doing some, what do you call it, tests. Yeah, that's more what I want. I know, I just want the vibe of blue to get across. And eventually I'll find my paintbrushes and I won't use a pin to paint. No, that's not how you're meant to paint. 
I want. Put that in that. Very nice. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I want. It's still very clearly red. But it's got blue bits in it. Oh, I don't know how obvious that is on camera though. <laughs> you can tell but it's got blue on it i don't know there you go one that's had it done and one that hasn't had it done Ugh. there you go oh dear i just think it looks not dirtier but like more dead <laughs> dead is what i'm aiming for uh, i'm not going to paint all of them right now either we're just doing a test <laughs> colors are cool thank you so much faster <laughs> So, so much faster. That's why I'm not counting though how many of these we're making because if I say don't have enough, I can whip a few more up in a few minutes. Unlike with the chrysanthemums where if we don't have enough, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Oh dear. I will wash you later. I will wash you later, I promise. Let me just get all of that bit off. Oh, there's a lot on there. Before I throw you in the bin. Not the paintbrush, the paper. Okay, that'll do. I genuinely wonder, because you would think that I would have packed my paintbrushes with my paint. I can tell you that's not what I've done. I have no idea where I've put it. Oh. Yeah, I've kind of decided that I want to go more blue with it in general. Like, not, not as much as the, the trailer lighting is, but like, paint it as if it's under a blue light, I suppose. So that the highlights will be more blue. I think, I think that's kind of the vibe that I want to go for. Oh my god, a fellow crafty, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Two seconds, let me do you a shout out. And Snuffle, welcome on in, a sausage raid. Oh heck, oh dear, and Kath, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Oh dear, welcome on in everyone. How was your stream crafty? What, what did you get up to? Oh, I give up a horn. And then, oh dear, and Viking, welcome on in. You were playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. How's it going? Also, Snuffle, thank you for the follow. Um, we're making a costume here, a really, really big one. Um, at the moment, we're doing some tests on making some flowers. So we've been working on making chrysanthemum petals, which is what the petal count on the screen is. But uh, right now, we're just making some tests with a different kind of flower, where we're using like a candle to, to burn polyester fabric into kind of the shape of petals. And then I'm going over them with some paints. Uh, originally I was going to just shade it all in black, but I think I'm going to shade it in blue instead. It just looks nicer. These, I will have to work out how I'm going to paint these. It might be easier to airbrush them. Uh, Cause I do want like the little donuts of fluff and this feels like a good way of getting a fluffy donut inside of the plant. But yeah, I'm, I'm a bit, it's obviously it's very, very bright red right now. And like, that's not, that's a vibe. <laughs> it's not the vibe that I want. Um, I could probably, if I cut all of my donuts, I could probably put them in like a bath as well, maybe, of just like painty water or dye. I do have dyes around. I think I probably actually even have blue dyes around because I was using some of them for Mateus. Mm. We might do that. We might do that. Because yeah, I, I like the idea of having like the little fuzzy circle around the pollen, but I'm I'm just not 100% sold on it being quite so bright. <laughs> like, or any of it being quite so bright and saturated. It's not, it's not quite the Silent Hill vibe. Took me a second to get it myself. Oh, you're fine. I'm good. I hope your stream went well. We're doing lots of testing today, but mainly I'm just going to be uh, burning a lot of flowers. <laughs> or burning lots of petals into flowers so that we have a good few to work with. And then maybe tomorrow we'll do some painting when I can find a paintbrush. Mm. Dye bath sounds like a solid plan for desaturating them, yeah. It's like, I, I, I love the texture and I don't want to make it all clogged up with paint, but like, yeah, it's, uh, it's too bright. It's so bright on this screen with everything else so desaturated. Oh dear. So I have to work something out for it. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying how it's going. And so far we've worked out, it's going to be six, oh no, three of each size petal per flower which means they are very quick to make um and do not use very much fabric so and it's not an expensive fabric anyway because it is just lining fabric in burgundy uh, so you know what i'm pretty happy with that the, these ones i'll have to paint differently because they're the center but we'll come back to that and i will i'll paint a little bit more red into it because it is the center but not not that much just a little bit more oh dear right we've got a lot more to burn let me light my candle again 
There you go. Let that get started. Because <laughs> we've got a lot to do. Uh, did Silent Hill cosplay hype? Yes. I, I, honestly, I'm so excited about this costume. It's, it's every time I pick it up, I'm like, yes. Yes. I would show you the kind of petals we're normally making, but I, they're all kind of in the box right now. So all this red stuff in the box, that's our petals. Uh, and we're up to 276, but those petals get made individually. So they are very, very slow. Uh, I think they work at, a, what is it? A pace of nine petals per minute. Although right now it's, well, no, not per minute, per hour. Although I think now I'm probably down to about six petals an hour because we're making bigger petals, so they take longer. The small ones were, were quick. Oh, I don't need this either. That's not a size that I'm using. The other three sizes are good though. Oh, I should say as well, Craft, if you need to go get some snacks or go look after yourself after your stream, please do. We will not, we will not be offended if you need to dart off. All right, let's get another one trimmed. We'll, we'll start with the small ones because they're more difficult and more fiddly. Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> it, it is, but it also, it, it is and it isn't because it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's, it's very relaxing. It's not like hard work. Like once you work out the maths or like get the sizes you want or how you want to make each one, it's more like endurance than it is hard work. Um, it's not technically very difficult, it's just more time consuming. So yeah, it means that it's, it's really easy to chat with people while you're doing it and like, uh, you know, you don't, get, you, don't have to, you don't have to have your attention spread between lots and lots of things. Oh, also a dragon, thank you so much for the follow, it's very kind. Ah oh dear, ah oh dear, I have to go in a bit as I have a school, oh bless you, yeah, no, honestly, feed yourself, look after yourself, you're all good. Yeah, I'm used to it. I normally raid when I have to go do something, so I get it. <laughs> well, all right, let's burn some more candles. I will try and use my left hand. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Honestly, using a left hand for stuff. I mean, maybe it's okay for other people. I know a lot of crafters as well who have just got really good at using- Oh my god! Wait, another raid! Jesus! Oh, Yoki, welcome on in! Oh my god, thanks everyone for the eggs. Really, I really love eggs. Eggs are just my favourite. <laughs> Popular today, it must be! Welcome on in everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all of the eggs. Board game, how was your heckin' stream and what did you get up to today? Oh dear, as you can see, we're, be, uh, we're being household arsonists today. <laughs> as you do, as you do. Ah oh dear, welcome on in Brain! And Board Game, and Goose, and James, and Tom. Uh, and Neb, you're already here. Ah <laughs> oh dear, welcome on in, what did you get up to? How is Hearthstone going? We're being arsonists. We are burning fabric to make flowers at the moment. And then we will eventually also end up painting all of these, but for now, Today is, today is just a fire day. Today is not not for large-scale painting. That'll be another day. Another day. Mostly paid board games and also some Hearthstone at the end and it went really well! The music from Hearthstone always makes me feel incredibly relaxed. I don't have it actually as part of the OST I have playing, but um, I always find the, the Hearthstone music is like, yeah. This is, this is nice relaxing music. I don't know what it is about it. Something about Hearthstone music. Alright, just come on. In the center, in the center. There you go. There you go. Get a little bit extra. So yeah, you 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 start off with a circle with some slits cut into it, and when you hold it over the fire, oh my god, it's so see through. <laughs> when you hold it through the fire, uh, because it's a polyester, it melts, so it pulls itself in and goes, uh, and so you end up like what was a circle becomes more petal shaped, uh, and then you can go back over the petals and paint them so that they are more silent hilly colored, which is what what we've ended up doing with this test is painting it so it's more Silent Hill coloured, and we'll be doing that with all of them, but for now, predominantly burning. What is a petal count? So we're not counting these ones in the petal count, because as you can see, they're so quick, and, you know, I could very easily make more if I run out, um, but the petal count for the chrysanthemums is at 276. That is true. That is the accurate, the accurate one. Uh, it is nice agreed. We were talking about how eggs are great with all the foods at the end. It's the egg message. We smash eggs here. We, we are, we are not, I don't want to say we're egg haters. <laughs> we do destroy an awful lot of eggs. Ah oh dear. Uh, I love this part of crafting, yeah. The bit where it's just like, we test, we find the things we like, we burn things, burning things. 
Oh dear. Fwee woo! US plays Wales in five hours. Nice. I hope it goes well. I'm very torn. These are all countries that I support. <laughs> what do I do? Every single country I support is playing a game. I support Wales. I support the United States. I support England. Oh god. My loyalties are torn. I guess I'll just support the underdog. Whoever whoever has the least goals, that's the one I'll support. <laughs> you know what correct colour materials like I'm asking, so I wanted to spend more time in my Oi 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 oi. I have got the correct colour material, except for the fuzzy thing. The fuzzy thing I don't have. <laughs> but this is the correct colour. It's just the edges have to be darker. Wow, wow, wow. I spot none of them because boy oh yeah, actually that's fair. That's very uh, that's very fair. This is the this is the one is it the one being held in Qatar? Sorry, you, you, one thing you're gonna get from me. I know sports is happening, <laughs> and that's about as much as I know most of the time. Um, I know, I saw something before I went live about the sports teams not being allowed to wear rainbow, rainbow armbands, or they would automatically get yellow cards. But I could be misremembering because I don't really understand. <laughs> but I saw something like that. And ooh. honestly, this whole week, is, I'm not going to go into it because it is genuinely quite upsetting and I want this to be like a, a comfy place. In Wales, it's been a really rough week for the LGBT. Uh, obviously, with the stuff that happened yesterday uh, in America, it's like really, really scary. And then with this as well, where it's like you can't, you, you will be penalized for wearing, uh, you know, anything rainbow. It's like it's very, very upsetting. Uh, but yeah. Listen, I might have accidentally on stream the other day told all gays to get on the closet, but that's not what I believe. Uh, you... <laughs> um, it's been, yeah, it's been a very rough week. <laughs> oh dear. Fair, six of them must have to make that stadium, and those are only the ones accounted for. I heard the armband story this morning, but I was half asleep. Yeah, I, I have been half asleep all day, but I did see it. I'll be honest, I didn't click it. Uh, not after everything that's happened, but yeah, I don't know if people are aware. Uh, there's been a lot of protesting happening in Wales. Um, I don't know how worldwide that's been because they're going to add sex education into schools, uh, which will not not include the LGBT. So not specifically LGBT sex education, just to be very clear. It's just that they won't avoid the LGBT. QA plus in, in Welsh sex education because over here that is distinctly not in Welsh sex ed. So <laughs> you can't talk about the LGBT in sex ed over here at the moment. Um, and they're changing that and they're making it completely opt outable. So, like any parents that don't want their kids in it, they can opt out, but there's still been lots of protests. It's been unfortunate because, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just been a really rough week all around. Like here we've had protests about really, really stupid stuff most of the time because the way that it works here at the moment is like the LGBT doesn't exist and like don't talk about it. It doesn't exist, um, which I can tell you I had sex head in England at school about 15 years ago and in England they do include it and they included it at least 15 years ago, probably longer. Uh, and yeah, to be quite that far behind is like, yeah. I think as well, a lot of people are saying like kids, there was also the complaint in general about kids learning sexual education, but like most of it, if you actually look through the curriculum, it's not that focused on sex. It's focused on what consent is. It's focused on what sexual assault is. It's focused on stuff like that. And it's not really focused on what sex is, it's focused on you looking after yourself. <laughs> and I really, I, I feel like it's very suspicious watching so many people complain about kids learning what consent is, because why do you not want kids to know what consent is? <laughs> like, why, why does that upset you? Why does it upset you, the idea that your kid might understand what assault is? Why does that upset you? And it just, it feels really suspicious and like creepy um, that like 
people are specifically protesting that kind of stuff. And like, again, it's not like they're teaching sex to three-year-olds. It's like these are teenagers a lot of the time who will be learning what contraception is. They'll be learning what STIs and STDs are. They'll be learning what consent is and what consent is not. Um, everything like that. And it's like, it's not, it's not teaching people how to have sex. It's teaching people how to avoid lots of horrible things happening to them uh, and like keep themselves safe. And again, why would you not want your kid to know that? Like, if you're not going to teach them, why can't someone else teach them so that they can properly look after themselves? Uh, and again, it's completely opt outable In Wales, at least, you don't have to do sex ed. If your parents take you out of it, you don't do it. So again, like, you, you cannot want it for your own kid. I still find that suspicious, but you cannot want it for your own kid. But then trying to prevent any other child from getting it, it's like, I just, I just... Uh, sex says isn't, hey, kids, go have sex. It's, you're going to have sex, and this is how it's unsafe. Yeah. And like, again, at the moment in Wales, you're not really, I, I'm sure some schools do, but you're not really meant to speak about the LGBT or QA plus or any of that. Like it, it's, it's a very new thing that that will be included. And again, they're not gonna show you gay porn. <laughs> they're literally just gonna explain that there are other types of relationships as well as your, your man, woman one, there's others. So that kids who maybe are starting to identify differently can, you know, see themselves there still, you know? And I, I just, again, and it's completely opt-outable. This is the bit that really gets me. You can opt out. <laughs> like, if you really, really hate the idea of your kid, uh, you know, being able to look out for themselves in, in the big wide world, then yeah, sure. You can opt them out of it. I don't think it's a good idea if you're not going to teach them. But, you know, you can. It's a very weird thing to protest in my mind, but it's, it's been, it's been going on here. Uh, that you don't have to just go with whatever someone else says and you should be aware. Yeah. Like, so much of it, you because you can read it, because they're updating the syllabus at the moment, it's very easy to go find, and, like, you can literally just read it and be like, okay, these are the things that they're teaching kids. And I went and had a look at it, because I was like, what, what are they teaching kids that have got so many people upset? Consent, boundaries, STDs, STIs, contraception. <laughs> Not excluding the LGBTQ from discussion. That's it. <laughs> that is literally it. <laughs> it's nothing we call rhythm and deli beans. I find it daft when people protest education and being informed, but they aren't informed and they don't want their kids. Well, this is the thing, it's like people are protesting, like you're forcing my kid to learn about things that I don't want them to learn at this age. No, they're not. Opt out. <laughs> they're not, literally, nothing is being forced. You, you can opt out. Again, I don't know, so personally, it's not something that I would do, but you can opt out. <laughs> Nothing is being forced. Oh, thank you, brain. So someone who's Gen X, are you 50 years old, coming from a country in the Netherlands where sex ed was pretty extensive and inclusive, I'm still amazed at how some countries are so backwards. It's almost like LGBT teens are more at risk of sites because of, you know, STIs, because of the lack of education about how to have gay sex. You know, all of the fear mongering where it feels like they have to do it in really odd ways and like meet people in really dangerous ways because they're afraid. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, raising kids to be afraid of who they are. It has some weird negative consequences. <laughs> Again, I was raised in a very like positive household, but also I did have the education at school where uh, I will say <laughs> could have seen more things written down because I thought lesbian was a lesbian for the longest time because pe they'd be talking about, it, they'd be like, oh yeah, when a woman loves another woman, that means they're lesbians. And I'd be like, a lesbians, a lesbian gay and a lesbian <laughs> and for the longest time when i was trying to like look up what a lesbian was i was like why can i not google a lesbian why is nothing coming up because a lesbian is not a word i needed it written down i would say writing them down for people like me who maybe weren't listening as closely as they should have would be great because a lesbian is not it <laughs> but i really thought it was for a very long time <laughs> Oh dear, but that's really important. Exactly, not only because of STDs, but because, like, said consent. Parents are deciding that kids need to learn, yeah. People think that kids have no autonomy, and I hate that, yeah. Anything regarding body autonomy or knowledge of one's body is under attack. This is the thing, it's like, I find it so suspicious when people don't want their kids to know what consent is. Why do you not want your kid to know that? <laughs> that's really weird. It's very creepy. Like, don't force uh, kiss hope. But yeah, like, do what the kid is comfortable with. Let the kid make the first move a lot of the time, especially when it comes to, like, hugs and stuff like that. I was not a huggy kid, and it took a while for everyone to get used to that. But these days, everyone's very good. Ah, oh, the lesbians, the new DLC Pokemon. <laughs> that's, a, no, that's not even, I did E-L-L. -L. 
E. Yeah, like Ella Wilts. <laughs> I think that lesbian is the woman who can <laughs> Not only that, but the days of the internet, so much information is available that there's also more risks. Yeah, it can be a very dangerous place. Then understand that I didn't want to be touched. Yeah, we had, my parents kind of understood it, but it was also like the difficulty of like, well, how do we get around having a kid who I can't touch kind of thing where it's like, that's difficult. And it is, and I, I don't want to take away that struggle because it's like, obviously people want to hug their own kids, but also like for kids like me who would have a full freak out melt, meltdown if they and anyone touched them, it meant like, if you went to grab me to pull me out of the way of a car, I would freak out and that makes it 10 times worse. So like, what do you do? What do you do? And I think it can take a little while to like find a balance where the kid is safe, but also like comfortable in those kind of situations. But you know, you can work out as long as you respect each other. Ah oh dear, a lesbian sounds great. Honestly, I thought it was a lesbian for many, many years. I was like Googling, because I had crushes, listen. I'm not gonna go into it, but I, I had some crushes. And I was like, I think I might be a lesbian. <laughs> and then Google would be like, what? You think you're what? <laughs> That's, Google, please help me. Why, why, like the teacher said that this is what a thing was, but I can't find it anywhere. What is an a lesbian? <laughs> It took literally like a couple of years before I realized it was a different word. <laughs> so you don't know how some kind of video what Ken Sent is. Yeah, you know. Ah oh dear, when I worked in op optometry, office people would tell their kids to hug me and I'd say to the child, if you would like to shake hands or wave either. And a lot of the time kids are super, super like responsive to that. If you just tell them no, like I prefer this, they're like, yeah, also atomic welcome in. You have joined a conversation where we're talking about the fact that uh, it's, it's a bit of a rough topic, actually, but welcome! I hope your stream's going well! I hope your hacking cosplay is going well! Um, basically, we're talking about how in Wales, at the moment, uh, there is a new, a new thing being pushed out through schools where there will be a, a more comprehensive sex education which will include the LGBTQA+. Um, not, again, just to, to be very clarify, not extensively, but it is included and it is not specifically excluded, you know? Oh, the Raid City, I know! Oh, there goes my music. Only time this week I'll be able to do it. Oh, I was doing birthday stream. Wait, so you had a birthday stream today? Oh my god, happy birthday! I hope that it went well. Oh my god, big happy birthdays. My dad was in the US military, so I mostly went to the Department of Defense schools. Forgot about not being touched, they all had corporal punishment. The principals had pet names for them. Oh my god. Oh, good god. Yeah! Oh dear. Welcome on in though, Tommy. If you need to run off, like obviously, I imagine you're quite busy if it's a birthday. But uh, if, if you're busy, please head off as much as we love having you here. If you're sticking around, we're making flowers we're using fire. Fire flowers. Oh dear. It's one of my favorite ways of making flowers because it's so easy. So easy to do. And we're talking about gay rights <laughs> and teaching kids about consent so that they can have hopefully safer lives in general. <laughs> and why that's not the weird demonized thing that everyone seems to think that it is. Oh dear. Oh, take care, get some good sleep again. Thank you for going by, Tommy. But yeah, look after yourself. I get you, I get you. And I do find it just super sus. I think as well, specifically, I think it's good that they're including things like consent and stuff like that in sex ed. Because again, sex ed is very little about actual sex and much more about looking after yourself. Um, at least it was in my experience. It's like, it's not really about what sex is. It's about, you know, the, these are your options. This is what you can do to stay safe. And like, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what parents really think it is half the time, but I feel like it's not that. <laughs> and to be fair, I'm just gonna put it out there. And this isn't to say that it shouldn't be straight sex education. There absolutely should be as well. But the straight part of sex education was a lot more traumatizing for me because they showed you an abortion at 24 weeks. Like, actually showed you it. They showed you the bits coming out of the woman, uh, cut up into pieces. And, you know, <laughs> I think anything you show me about gay relationships is probably not gonna scar me quite so heavily as having to watch an abortion come out at 24 weeks. <laughs> also this is nothing to say on like pro or, or uh, anti-abortion i'm i am personally i think everyone should have the option uh you know that's a that's a it's a personal choice at the end of the day and that should be a personal choice that every single person gets to make what i will say is that was a hell of a thing to show me at like 12 years old 
<laughs> and the idea that that's been in sex education for, again, at least 15 years, but some for some reason saying that sometimes a man likes another man, that's too much. <laughs> Very weird double standard there. I'm always curious about how many parents themselves have actually had sex education. I know, I reckon most of them have, and I would feel the same. I think they really think it's something a lot more demonic than it actually is. Because when you hear them talking about it, they're like, yeah, they're going to be going on and on about gay sex. And I'm like, I don't think you've ever had sex education. <laughs> I think you need it. <laughs> We're already teaching my niece and nephew about consent. And we are, yeah, exactly. Consent's like something you can teach from a really, really young age. And it's important. But a lot of people don't get that in their families. And they won't necessarily know, like, what is okay and what is not okay for their own bodies. And again, young people tend to be like, a bit more impressionable and a bit more likely to go with the flow and all that kind of stuff. It's really important that people know when something is too much, what, when you can put your foot down, that you're okay to put your foot down if anything's too much. Um, and that, you know, that, 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 that it's important. And again, if, if you're not getting that from your family, if school is the next place you can do it. It's only really responsible. God, that's so gross. That's got to be scarring. But they probably the point is the scaremongering. Yeah, the reason they did it was basically as part of the contraception. It's like, listen, you want to have an abortion? Fine. You want to have a baby? Fine. Maybe <laughs> try and avoid it getting to this point because this is quite intense. Uh, but at the end of the day, it happens. And like, if it happens to you, it happens to you. It's probably going to be very hard. But yeah, everyone should have the option. I feel like if the parents are giving sex ed class first, they'd have a better idea. I honestly, I feel like they could do that with a lot of the parents. Like, listen, this is what sex ed actually is. It's not what you're thinking it is. The one thing I will say, which was quite upsetting from one of the clips that I saw of like the Welsh protests, um, they were all having a go at one police officer because he, he had like, that he was in the LGBT, he had like a little rainbow thing on him, right? And they were saying, you can't have that police officer there because he's impartial. And so the chief came over and was like, if he takes his badge off, is that okay? And everyone was like, yes, that's fine. Because yeah, the only thing that keeps us gay is, you know, having magical rainbow badges on us. As soon as we take those off, we're not gay anymore. <laughs> And it's it's so weird because like everyone's like it's a conflict of interest to be wearing that rainbow patch and it's like You realize even if he takes that rainbow patch off nothing changes <laughs> Like you know, yes, you might not immediately know that he he's part of the LGBT but like weirdly he still is <laughs> Oh, they be like fannies that I don't like touching or literally punch a bitch if not respected. Yeah. Quickly hands on a rainbow badge, it can be super gay, it's important. You can only be gay if you have something rainbow attached to you. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> impartial, how we basically do make season new movies is not impartial. This is the thing. It's like, at the end of the day, the chief asked if he wanted to take his badge off and the police man said, no, no, I don't. And so the chief turned around and said, he doesn't want to take his badge off. There you go. And they tried to mass report that policeman for not being impartial uh, in the protest, but like, the policeman was literally just standing there and making sure they didn't break into like property. So he really wasn't doing anything. He was not standing up to them. He was not saying anything back. He was just stood there making sure they didn't do anything illegal. That was it because it's a protest and that's what policemen do at protests. They stand there and make sure that you're not doing anything illegal. Um, and yeah, it was very, again, I think it just shows like a level of ignorance that a lot of these people have where it's like, they think if he takes his rainbow badge off, that he, he's going to be on the same side of them. Where it's like, no, no, he's still very much going to be gay or LGBT or bi or whatever. Still gonna be that, just not with the badge. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, like it's gonna be the same. Oh dear. The brain kings people put them in these days, large, large part of, yeah, yeah. He had become straight, oh wait, is that true? Oh shoot, I didn't know that. Bugger, <laughs> how does that happen? They might not follow the LGBT to express their support. I think that they, I, I think the story was that they are gay, but I could be wrong. That's why I'm like saying LGBT, because I'm like, I could be wrong and I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to be rude, but like, I think, I think it was that he was gay, but I could be wrong. Ah oh dear, but nothing wrong with that. If anything I say it's positive. Yeah, like listen, he's just wearing, he's just wearing his badge. Nothing, nothing else. Like, yeah, again, if he's just an ally, he's just wearing the badge. I don't think it's gonna sway him to your side anymore if he takes the badge off. <laughs> I, th I have a feeling that he might probably not be impartial because it is, you know, human rights. But at the same time, he's not doing anything to you. He's just stood there. They might not be impartial because their brand is like saying uh, they're not being impartial because they, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, 
It's really weird. The other thing that I would say, I'd be, I guess, being kind of, how to put it, facetious if I didn't include this to say, um, the main, I don't know how to put this. This is something that I'm not quite so comfy talking about. Um, and I think deserves a much more in-depth discussion than I'm going to be doing on it today. Um, the main complaints on the video uh, were that there were not enough white protesters and they didn't properly represent Wales. This is an ongoing issue, <laughs> obviously, uh, and definitely like a lot more in the racism side of thing. Like when I say this situation was just getting worse and worse and worse, like I cannot, I cannot say how much worse it was getting. Like it was targeting one person, the police force for wearing a rainbow badge. It was trying to prevent kids from getting access to things like knowing what consent is, uh, as well as just general sex education as far as like protecting themselves. And then it finished off on, well, it would have gone different if everyone was white. <laughs> so like really, <laughs> it couldn't have got much worse to be quite honest. Uh, and I, I again, do not agree with what any of these people were saying, just to be very clear. But I think to not mention that that's also been a big, big part of that particular protest would be a bit... Listen, it's it's a it's a homophobic racist protest. <laughs> I don't really know how else to put it. <laughs> and it's been going on for like the last week, and it's it's really nasty, even though the only thing that they've been saying that they want to do is teach kids about, like, simple stuff. Oh dear. Also, discrimination is illegal. It is. It's one of the reasons why here in Pono I have a huge amount of IKEA rainbow bag, I have rainbow bags and everything. Well, it's really important. Otherwise, like, <laughs> your gay might fly away. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't keep it on you at all times, like, are you are you even gay at this point? Come on now. <laughs> so you have to have a badge on you at all times. It's very important. Oh, Queen, welcome on in. You joined it during a very heavy discussion, but I hope you're doing well. A double whammy. It literally was just getting worse and worse. And like, Again, I don't- I want to be very clear, this group that is protesting does not represent everyone else who lives in Wales, and definitely shouldn't. It is a small group of people that are making a lot of fuss right now. Um, like, definitely- please, please do not assume that all of Wales is like that. It's absolutely not, but also this is what's happening here at the moment. Every time I come on Twitter, it's like, Wales is trending in your area, and it's like, I wonder why. I wonder why Wales is trending in my area. Could it be this again? Oh yeah, it's that again. If you get a, a tattoo of a rainbow badge, does that make you permagay? Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> I, I think at that point you could probably add to it. Like if you wanted to like, maybe maybe like you get the, the LGBT like flag, you know, on you, but then you decide to get some like extra, maybe like your pan. So you get the pan flag underneath. I think you can add to it, but I'm afraid I don't think at that point you can remove the gay. Uh, that's a, that's permagay right there. Is Wales trending in your era because you're in Wales and get Welsh news? Yeah, yeah. So like this is something where I'm like, I don't know if the rest of you will get it because I, I've noticed there have been times where I've got the Welsh trending on Twitter just because I am located in Wales. So it's like partially location based. And so whenever Wales, Wales trends on Twitter, it's either really, really cool. It's like a really cool thing or it sucks. <laughs> it's like one or the other. It's either like, oh yeah, like, you know, lots of cool new stuff happening at the Wales Pride Festival or like at the Ice Deadford or stuff like that and it's like some kind of celebration or the Cheese Festival or it's like half of Wales is underwater and I don't know when we're gonna fix this and it's like I swear <laughs> please like I just want some some really good news for once and well every now and again ah oh dear I can assure you that this crap is happening all over I'm sure it is I mean, very specifically, they are protesting the sex education. Obviously, there's a lot of other stuff going on, but it is sex education. And they are, they have got a big emphasis on the fact that there is, it's not even LGBTQ, like, it's not even inclusion. It's just that they're not being excluded. Like, there is not specifically going to be a lesson on gay sex or like, it, probably there won't be a specific lesson on the LGBT in general, but it won't be excluded from the discussion. That's all it is. It's like... And again, I get it because it's a step. It's a step in the right direction. And I think doing too, well, doing too much might end in protests, but here we are. But like, it's a step in the right direction. But I, I be honest, in, in ignorance, assumed that that was already happening here because I'd had that same sex education 15 years ago. And so I assumed that it was the same in Wales and it was only through this that I found out, no, you're not actually really meant to talk about the LGBT that's off limits, um, like pretend it doesn't exist. 
And yeah, so that that's a a new thing for me. I didn't know that was happening. Doesn't accept gays, but the songs she listens to most of the time are for Queen. I'll never understand this woman. <laughs> she accepts talented gays. <laughs> Anyone else? Like, listen, if you're talented, okay, you you get a pass, but you don't have that talent. <laughs> Maybe she just has very high standards for people in general. Oh, dear. <laughs> May I ask, what is it you're doing with the candle? Okay, so this is a polyester fabric. That's important. Bear, bear that in mind. Polyester fabric, if you put it near fire, will melt, which is what I'm doing. I'm basically getting it near the heat, just enough so that the, the flowers pick up and it like ever so slightly melts the edges. And then what that does is it pulls it inwards. So again, it like curls it around and stuff like that. So the petals start to form. So what used to be just a plain circle, uh, it melts and like warps with the fire to become petals. So you just kind of run it around the edge of each of the petals, which is what I'm doing now, to make sure that every single area gets singed and that they all start to curl inwards. And then once they're all done, we'll end up painting all of them. But for now, it's just to get the shapes. Cause yeah. And then if I've missed a bit, just go back in and get it like that. There you go. And then afterwards I pop it on top and that's just to get it to crease somewhere near the center because that way it pulls it all in a bit further. So they end up like that. Like they start like, like that and end up like that. <laughs> and then when you layer them up, you get really pretty flowers. Ah oh dear. I find all people don't accept gay people. <laughs> Oh dear, we we weren't asking you to go on a date with us, you weren't. Not overtly, no. That's always a fun one to discuss because many people whitewashed and decided that the lead was obviously straight when she wasn't, he was also bi. Oh god. Oh dear. I love a good old bit of bi erasure to start my week. That's my favourite. Oh, you're, da you're dating someone of the opposite gender, you're straight. You're dating someone of the same gender, you're, you're gay. That's it. Nothing else. Now keep it nice and simple, listen. <laughs> you're obviously only sexually attracted to the person that you're dating, and that's it. Nothing else. That, keep, keep it simple. Uh, oh, and don't even get me started on asexuals. Listen, they don't exist. They're, they're like unicorns. Definitely, n n never, never heard of one. No idea what that is. Mm -mm, get that out of here. Trans people? Nah. I don't know about that one. That wasn't in my black and white <laughs> handbook. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear I will say all of this is very very uh, obviously hopefully sarcastic it's just the way things are isn't it a little bit at the moment hopefully I'm saying at the moment because I really hope that these are things that like improve over time but as they are right now <laughs> oh dear parents are similarly homophobic oh I'm sorry to hear that was he bi? I thought he was totally gay someone's mad at me for telling that he wasn't white I'm a sexual <laughs> Yeah, you, you, oh my god, have we got two unicorns in chat? Oh my god. I'm really sorry to tell you guys that you don't actually exist. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, you, you don't exist. Also, uh, a counterpoint, even if you did exist, uh, how dare you identify as the LGBT? Excuse me. <laughs> Again, sarcasm. Sarcasm. Lots of sarcasm. I really love the idea that in such a, like, sex-forward society, and that, like, sex, sex is everything. It's, like, sells. It's, like, pretty woman on car, sell it. Everyone, like, it's everywhere. The idea that asexual people don't necessarily face their own problems and thus don't deserve any support is, like, a really weird one. Because <laughs> I'm gonna make some assumptions that they because it's just, like, how the world is. Like, you listen, you grow up, you fuck, you have babies, you die. And it's like, if you're not doing one of those things, excuse me, you, do you exist? I don't think so. Everyone, everyone is born to do exactly the same thing. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, by the way. I probably need it. Ah, oh, dear. Fades into dust. No! Queen, come back. We love you. Mm. Honestly, though, I really liked her. Who was it? Someone pretty big on YouTube came out as asexual recently. Jaden Animations. That was cool to see. You just don't really hear about it very much and like it was nice it was nice watching someone do like a comprehensive like video on on how that experience is especially for the people who maybe don't quite understand why it's in the lgbt qa plus a plus qa plus cough cough not ally <laughs> oh dear that was nice i like that <laughs> same reaction to atheists <laughs> I like the idea that it's 
out lesbian, gay, bi, trans, queer, atheist. <laughs> That's not what you were saying at all. I just like the idea. I just like the idea that the A and LGBTQA plus is atheist. <laughs> Listen, it could have been asexuals, it could have been allies, but now it's, it's atheists. Sorry guys. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Let me just erase everyone else. A except for the atheists, of course. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, let's not forget the only two genders section of the handbook. Yeah, that's a very important point. Uh, you man or you woman? Is that, yeah? Listen, if you don't identify as one of those two things, I can't, I can't comprehend it. And you're making my life hard. Making my life really hard by not ticking one of those two boxes, excuse me? <laughs> sarcasm, big scar sarcasm. <laughs> oh dear. Like those commercial women seductively eat yogurt on the park bench. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's everywhere. Like you cannot escape it. Oh dear, he was bi and he was, oh, he Indian. Oh, nice. I once saw a form where the gender list was male, female, other Chinese. <laughs> oh no! Excuse me. <laughs> what is this gender Chinese? I've never heard of this. A surprise dance hands. We're raising God now. Never mind, just <laughs> I really like the idea that the A stands for atheist. I know that it doesn't. I don't remember though. Does it stand for asexual aromantic or is it just one or the other? I can't remember. That's the other thing. Everyone expects you to get into a relationship. Like, listen, the relationships is a part of life. What do you mean you don't want to get in a relationship? Excuse me. That's part of life. What the what, what, what heck? <laughs> oh. Again, these are the sort of things that really do need to be spoken about in school in my mind, just so that people know that it's out there, so that they're not spending half of their young adult life realizing that they don't actually have any interest in people or a certain group of people, or like, like, okay, actually, yeah, I thought I was meant to date men, but it turns out I have no interest in men. Like, just help people so that they can enjoy their young life a little bit more. <laughs> like, cause really that's all it does. By including things like asexual, gay, lesbian, bi, pan, trans, as part of the curriculum is like not something that's avoided. It just means that kids that fit in that to those categories don't have to spend quite so long worrying about it and can actually go out and enjoy life. It doesn't mean that your kids are gonna suddenly become it. It just means if they are it anyway, they have more, more time to enjoy life and not have to worry about it. <laughs> Oh dear. It's intersex and asexual, thank you. <laughs> I had to switch from bisexual to pansexual and TikTok show me non-binary people that I was attracted to. <laughs> See, I've only ever been attracted to, I think, like two people in my entire life. <laughs> so I'm like, listen, one of them was a woman, one of them was a man, there we go. Bye, I guess. <laughs> Easy. If, I, if, if anything happens in the future, you know, I'll let you know, I'll update you, but right now, two. <laughs> two and... God, nearly, oh God, it's like nearly 20 years, Jesus, two. <laughs> I like LGBTQA uh, as a Q covers everything else, it's true. I like LGBTQA2 plus, because I love it all. Oh, like like electric boogaloo? <laughs> oh dear, if you were so surprised once I'm done relationship. Well, yeah, because relationships are part of life and if you're not getting relationships, what are you actually doing? What are you doing? If you're not reproducing, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, queer is super helpful if you're more than one of the other letters too. Yeah, that's your thing. And also it means you don't have to be too specific if you don't want to be, because there will be, I mean, it's in the nicest way, there'll be people that will accept like, okay, I accept gay people, but I don't accept trans people. Or I accept this, but I don't accept this. So like, if you don't know who you're speaking to, and it's like, you know, you don't know, they're like, yeah, yeah, I support, you know, gay people, but like, do you? Do you support all of the LGBT or do you just support gay people? <laughs> like, or do you just support lesbians in porn? What do you support? Like, I don't know. It's sometimes it's easier to just play it safe and not have to open yourself up to, oh yeah, I don't believe that though. <laughs> but not that, everything else, but not that. Was married 10 years, I've been uh, unattached for almost 20 years. This is the thing, it's like, wouldn't it be easier if maybe we just knew about these options when we were younger and weren't made to feel like creepy about those options? You're attracted to hot people, understandable. <laughs> DJ. DJ, thank you for the DJ. I'm Pan, because I find gender is irrelevant. Heck yeah. Oh dear. Sometimes I do generally think taste in anime is a lot more important, but they really just don't teach you that in school. 
<laughs> Having good taste is like, I've met two people <laughs> who I'm like, your taste is good enough. Ah, <laughs> oh, de monsieur, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Maybe we should stop classifying people as heterogeneous and you could just love another person. Like that would be the ideal long term. But like, because there's so much discrimination and like, you need to know who is on your side. It doesn't work like that just yet. Also, it's really useful to know, like for instance, what if say I saw a beautiful woman and we've been chatting for a while and like things were going really well. It'd be really nice if I knew if she also liked women. <laughs> so like there's definitely still a place for it in, you know, first of all, keeping yourself safe, knowing knowing spaces that are safe for you and all that kind of jazz. But also it's really helpful <laughs> when it comes to like, you, you we, we on the same wavelength. <laughs> Two uh, is for two-spirited folks with it. Aww, that's kind of lovely. I broke my internship about five years ago and it's been really good for my mental health. I'm glad, I'm heckin' glad. It's only for indigenous people in the Americas and like new world folks. Okay, that's why I haven't heard of it then. <laughs> oh dear, Lynn, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. We're actually making flowers at the moment. So you kind of burn a circle and then like, so it starts out like, like this and then ends up like this and you layer them up in their petals, beautiful. And then we paint them, heck yeah. Ah oh dear. A local box you go into, I know, right? We should define it as your attractors regardless of yourself. So lesbian, women, straight males in the same group. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think it's difficult because like, to an extent, I really would like it to be that well, but I'm also like, first of all, I need to know what you like. <laughs> Second of all, like, I think only the people you're interested in need to necessarily know, but like, I need to know. And then, um, and then also, yeah, because it's important. There are groups, like, I think the LGB is a really good example of a group that makes you think they're going to really, like, support people in the LGBTQA+, but no, they only support lesbian, gay, and bisexual, and if you're not one of those three, you're, like, you're transgender or something like that, then you get fucked in that group. And obviously that's one that's had a lot of people talk about it because it's bad. But, <laughs> you know, it's still important because there are places like that that exist in the world still that act as if they are helping but are actually making things 10 times worse yeah 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 that's what gets me the current mass anti-trans rhetoric it's such a western proof like so many non-white cultures have gender fluidity oh for sure <laughs> listen <laughs> we're just 10 20 30 years behind i feel like the, it just goes up and up and up i like labels because communication and i think that is important like <sighs> when it comes to dating, but this is the thing, does everybody need to know? Probably not. Only probably the people you're like trying to get with. <laughs> oh dear, I've considered dating women before. Like I thought, she's super sweet and we get along and she's pretty, would make a whole family situation convenient. And then I was like, nah, <laughs> nah, not for me. Can I ask identify? You can absolutely ask. I identify as a cis female and I, I'm interested in so far one man and one woman <laughs> at different times. Ah oh dear. So I would, I, at the moment, just identify as bi. It's easier. And also because I can't imagine me forming any sort of attachment with anyone else while I'm dating Shiny. Like, I re it takes a lot for me to like someone. <laughs> like, I think I knew Shiny for four years, and the other person was six years, and then I was like, okay, now I can envision a relationship. But I, I am slow. Very, very slow. <laughs> So I really just can't imagine it happening while I'm in a committed relationship that I'd find anyone else. Oh dear. Talking about being behind. My brain is centuries behind. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, the LGB Alliance is ass hats. Yeah, they're, they're really, they're really nasty. Uh, and of course you have turfs and stuff like that from within the lesbians. It's, it's, listen, it, it's still important because you need to know where you stand with people. Uh, monosexual cis people. She said she's bah. <laughs> Yeah, that's sad. More like centuries behind. I like how most guys when they hear women they are source with suit. Oh, yeah, listen. Like maybe one day, but it takes like four years of me getting to know you first. <laughs> so like, you know, listen. I, give me half a decade and then maybe we can talk about it. <laughs> Otherwise it ain't happening. I'm very, very slow. I'm slow in all aspects of my life. I live a slow life with my slow brain. Uh, every my slow heart, everything is slow. We're just slow here. <laughs> Generally slow. Great. It takes a lot for me to like it. It really does. I'm very slow. Very, 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 very slow. Ah oh, dear. So this Melbourne lived uh, as part of a thruple for two. Yay! Nice. Very nice. 
Oh dear. It's interesting because I think sometimes on you see like very different communities on Twitch and I'm really glad that we have a community of a lot of different kinds of people in it. It's nice to see. It's nice to see. And it also makes me feel happy in that people don't feel excluded here. I listen, I told all the gays to get in the closet the other week, but I really didn't mean it. <laughs> I'm glad that people don't feel excluded here. Or, or feel safe to say, that's the thing I suppose. Feeling safe to say. Mm -mm. Thank you, it's all very kind. I feel very blessed today. I wasn't expecting to feel quite so blessed. <laughs> I guess that's the end. <laughs> oh God. No, thank you, thank you. I'm glad people feel relatively safe here. <laughs> we need a bigger closet. Bigger closet for the gays, please. <laughs> Large, sorry. Yeah, I could fit like five of you in here, maybe. With me included. So I'm sorry, we're gonna want probably enough space here, but you know. I'm gonna look at them now. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Also, I, do you want to disappoint two women at once? Oh, God, never. Oh, this is cozy. I'm glad. Honestly, I think that's one of the nicest things. You do get people, uh, and like, I do definitely stay in the be careful with what you reveal on the internet. Like, be careful. Because obviously there will be people that will target you for certain things. That's why we have, like, no age chat in, in Twitch, because, you know, Twitch chats can be known for people finding predators and stuff like that. So, you know, but it is nice, honestly, just to know that people don't feel uh worried that i'm gonna go turn around and like ban them <laughs> like i guess i could ban you but it wouldn't be for being gay it'd be for other reasons <laughs> oh dear one thing i find tricky is lgbtqa plus is supposed to be all about inclusivity where's the h for hetero i know that it wasn't originally but these days it feels like if i'm not lgbt i'm not normal so the reason there isn't a h for hetero is because it is the standard. It is still very much the standard in media. It's still very much the standard in schools. It's still very much the standard in in the world. And as far as because there are still a lot of countries where if I say walked into that country and was like, I'm bi, I like women, um, I could be arrested. Um, and that's still very much a thing, you know, and especially after the events this week, you can see that gay people, people who are LGBT+, people who are trans, are at a higher risk of being targeted. Like, there was literally that shooting, was it yesterday, uh, in another, another gay club? Another one? <laughs> um, it's like a targeted thing, where it's like, still very much targeted for who you are. Uh, you still don't have the same rights as other people in a lot of places. Whereas for being straight, you won't face any of that. You won't be targeted for being straight, but you can be targeted for being any part of the LGBTQA+. Um, do, do I agree that het people or het heterosexual people specifically um, don't have a place in the conversation? Like, no, they, they should be here. They should be here with everyone else. That's where allies come in. That's where, you know, people, you stand with like your gay, your gay son or your bi mother or whatever, you stand together. It doesn't, you don't have to be in the LGBT to be supportive, but there won't ever be a H in the LGBT because by the time that everyone is treated equally, there will only be labels, hopefully, for the use of identifying who people are interested in. Because at the moment, that label LGBT is still very dangerous. It's still like one of those things where it's like, there's a lot of risk with being attached to it. Yeah. Ah, oh dear. Why is it so successful for women to experiment and not have a label shoved down their throat? Yeah, I know. <laughs> the, listen, it's the double standard. <laughs> Oh dear. Bang, it's Flo Till! Welcome on in! Don't worry, I won't ban you. You're a sweet bean. Jelly, did you switch from petals to a completely different idea? Oh no, this is this will be a different kind of flower. We got uh, eight different flowers in the dress, and they're being made in a few different ways. So this is just another way. Ah uh, dear, it's not about making hat people feel comfortable. That is also true. It's like... <sighs> I, I think it is uncomfortable. And like, I, you know, I'm gay, but I'm definitely not, a no, not, I'm bi, but I'm definitely not a lot of other labels that people get targeted for. And it is uncomfortable to hear that people that you know uh, are going through injustices and like stuff that you don't like. Um, and I obviously have it from the one at hand of being disabled and also bi, but then also that like, I can't experience the same experience as a black person in the UK kind of thing, or someone who is a person of color. And it can be really uncomfortable hearing the horrible things that happen to them and having to just be like, God, that's awful. Um, but then from the same position as someone in a different group who has different things held against them, it's like, yeah, when people just listen, 
and like you, you just listen and why things are hard and stand with you and support you like that means the world um so yeah i think i think there's still definitely a place for straight people in the lgbt as an ally but it's not you don't have the same experience mm. but you stand with them regardless that makes sense i hope that makes sense i'm not always the most illiterate nah that's not the right word either uh, I'm not the best at stating my opinion, but I hope that that went, was okay. So conform with feminist and liberation of women. I don't think it's wrong to assume hetero is standard. It's biologically the norm, doesn't make them different from bio-gay people, but does set it as the norm. Well, this is the thing. It's always going to probably be the majority. So it's het are considered the standard and everything caters to them. But I don't want it to come across as like, you don't have a place in this chat if you are cis or het. You absolutely do. And you have a place in the conversation and everything like that in fact hearing what people think of, because she, a lot of the people that are protesting lgbt stuff at the moment in wales are cis het people <laughs> like seeing the perspective of someone who's maybe not doing that is really really cool um and it still definitely has a place you're not we don't want to exclude you we just want to make sure people who might not always feel safe are also included mm. yes yes oh thank doctor welcome on in i hope you're doing well i hate all people equally fair understandable <laughs> Honestly, eat all the people and support animals instead, like me. Are you an animal queener? I think you're, you're like a. Is it a quan? A quan? Something like that. Okay, he's like now up uh, same in the past. True. My only man said, "There's no time to discriminate. Hate everyone the same." And, uh, as long as you're actively doing that. <laughs> oh dear. Live together as family. Children, the family is very much a Western thing. Uh, I don't think anyone's 100% hetero. See, now that I disagree with. I don't like it when people say that you can't be, like, I, I, I'll be honest, it's very much a thing in the LGBT to say, oh yeah, I, no, no woman is 100% straight kind of thing. Um, but that's also taking away a label from someone. <laughs> in the same way that you wouldn't be, want to be told, like, you're not 100% what you believe in, best not to say that about other people, because, like, everyone's experiences are different, and I, I like, everyone should be respected with their own experiences. Like, if... If you've only ever liked the opposite gender, that's great. Like, and you, you identify as 100% straight, you're fine. And if you've only ever liked the same gender and you identify as 100% gay, that's fine. I don't think people should be coming in and saying, you can't do that. That's not okay. Like, let people identify as what they want to. And if you wouldn't tell a gay person that's not right, don't do it to a straight person. Because at the end of the day, it, a lot of it does just come down to equality. And if you're treating gay people, uh, sorry, straight people, in a way that you wouldn't treat gay people, that's also not equality. <laughs> it's not the equality we strive for. Yeah. Ah, oh dear. There we are. I think just letting people pick their own labels is important. Even if they're not always right, maybe they change down the line. But you let people pick them because you respect them as a person. Uh, I don't like Marilyn Manson, he's a very evil person. <laughs> <laughs> what do you usually sew? Welcome on in! Uh, costumes, cosplays. Uh, at the moment we're making hundreds of flowers. Oh, no, this current run is all about killing things that are keeping us down. Gender roles hurt men too. Also, it's a big ship. <laughs> oh, not appropriate topic for Jelly Stream. And, uh, he's a very evil person. Yeah, also because I really have no idea. <laughs> you, you could all put it in my chat and I'd just be there like... Oh! <laughs> I am completely out of the loop when it comes down to that. Oh, big gay either. But again, like you would, I, I really don't agree with the idea of like picking someone else's sexuality for them. You know, like let let people pick their own. Again, it might not be a hundred percent right, but that should be their own personal choice, not not someone else's. Because I wouldn't want someone to pick that for me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. These flowers are a lot quicker. Oh, so much quicker. Five by nine queen is a qu. How do you pronounce it, Queena? Do you know? Because it does just look like Q. Or cool. Not the same as Queen. Ah, uh, that's fair. That's fair. Dif different. That's that's understandable. But also, do you know how to pronounce it? <laughs> because you never hear it said aloud. Oh dear. I got a song because it was in context of God. I didn't mean to evoke anything, but you're wrong. He's neither evil or an abuser. Oh God. Okay, listen. Shutting down that conversation right now because I don't know anything about it, and I'm not in a position to say. If anyone continues it, I will ban you. Um. Okay. Listen, you've had your warning. Mods in chat, if anyone hears it, if anyone continues the conversation, ban them. <laughs> or time them out, maybe. I don't know. I'm harsh. You can time them out if you like. <laughs> Doing well, getting used to the new job. Oh, dear. I'm going to start 
It is the time. I said no more. <laughs> Messages are being deleted. Please respect me as a streamer. I ask you all to drop it immediately. Wait, you weren't gonna ban me, listen, Flo, till this time. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear, again. Very well said. Oh, did I, did I say okay? Brilliant. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. You know, I'm pretty eloquent when it comes to banning people in my chat for not respecting me. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Ah. Uh, wait, I'm doing well. I'm getting used to my new job and play. Ooh. Good luck. Good luck. Ah, oh, dear. Sorry, mid typing. That's fair. That's fair. That's why I only, I only did that. <laughs> Ah oh dear, sorry Jelly, you're all good. You're all good. Ah oh dear. I do, I, I understand there is a bit of a, a bit of a stream delay. <laughs> How many of the flowers we making? I'm not actually sure. These ones I'm not keeping track of because they're so quick to make that uh, basically if I run out, I can make more very easily. Whereas with the chrysanthemums, as you've been seeing, they're really slow, so calculating them was a bit more important to make sure I didn't make too much and waste my time. Whereas with these ones, you know, first of all, they're mainly for filling space anyway, but also if I need more, I can do it so quickly that it's not worth it, you know. So yeah, you're all good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce it for sure, but I agree I would pronounce the same as letter Q. Okay, that's how we used to, like when we see Q's Marsh, that's how we would pronounce it. Although there was also a part of me that would call it Qua, like Qua's Marsh which I don't think is true. <laughs> you banning my mum? I'll fight you. My mum will also fight you. Uh, and honestly, between us, actually, my mum's pretty fit and active. I think my mum would do more damage than I would. <laughs> I'll fight you with me, mum. Oh dear. Painting flowers is tedious and I hate it. Have you painted flowers before, Robert? Do you have any secret flower painting techniques you'd like to impart upon me as I enter the journey of painting hundreds of flowers? Oh, I'm here for it. Uh, dear. How do you calculate the number of flowers for the other type? I don't 100% remember Floatil. <laughs> I, I, I know... I know that we're doing, I think, 50 chrysanthemums. Is it 50 or 100 chrysanthemums? It's either 50 or 100 chrysanthemums, but they vary between sizes of... Uh, 10 groups of six petals or 12 groups of six petals, so either 60 or 72 petals per flower. And then they were also split into categories of color so that we could have red ones, beige ones, and white ones. And I just, I just don't remember. <laughs> but we did do it live on stream. There was a whole stream where we calculated it. I just don't remember how. It's, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> There was a way. Oh dear, paintings of, oh, okay. I, I have also painted pictures of flowers and I will say it's not my favorite either. Making flowers is a lot more fun than painting flowers, for sure. Oh dear. You don't remember, so it might be off by a scale of 10. No, it's not, it's not that far off. I don't, it definitely wouldn't be that far off. I might end up having to make a few more because I'm doing larger, um, large, larger petals for some of them and there might need a few more layers of those. But it could also be less. Maybe they end up being too big. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't finished even one yet, so I'm not sure. You streamed my TV? Oh god, yeah. So there's a bit of a delay there. Ah, oh, I meant in 3D flowers would melt my brain. I, I think it's... But like, literally, can you cut a circle, grab it? And then cut six little, little, like, clips into the side of the circle? And then set fire to it? Like, honestly. I feel like, other than the fire, this would normally be a pretty kid-friendly activity. I think the fire makes it maybe not quite so much, but like, honestly, it's it's really not that difficult. It's very easy. And because like, you you can do it, it doesn't matter if it's messy. Like, in fact, if anything, that kind of adds to it. It's very hard to go really wrong with it. Uh, any more uh, info efforts about the draft blocker? No, I don't. I saw some in Shaw's uh, the other day because I was taken out and I looked at them and I was like, that's a good idea. Nope, not done nothing about it. It's a great idea that I have done nothing about. <laughs> I think I've only painted a few times like actual shapes versus general all over cover. We used to have to repaint like famous pictures a lot, <laughs> which I'll be honest was not my favorite. I always found it quite boring. I liked making my own art, but like one of the things in art was like you repaint famous drawings and you give it a go and stuff like that. So like Van Gogh's flowers or sunflowers, I've painted those a few times. Uh, I've painted a few other flowers as well, and I always find it to be really boring because it is just copying art that already exists, which is not my favorite, but 
it is what it is, you know. Ah, oh, dear. There's a ground type tentacruel. How does that work? Please, please do it. Please do explain. How the hell do you have a ground type squid? Uh, unless it's, I guess, spoilers. Is that is it, unless it's like the legendary or something like that? Oh my god. There we go. Wow. I love it when non does say Van. Oh, it's Van Gogh, isn't it? Van Gogh. -er. Van Gogh. -er. I went to use Versi for Tech Theater. I just did whatever they told me to do. <sighs> did you get to make your own stuff, or did they? Did they be like, remake this a hundred times? It's it's the it's basically remaking things that already exist that I really don't like. Like not because like just completely. <laughs> also, Mr. Hyde. Oh my God, do we have a Katamari fan in chat? The the rare Katamari fan has graced us with their presence. <laughs> You don't get too many people that immediately recognize this one because uh the, the ost is like it's got so many different genres in it which again makes it very fun to stream too but yes we actually in our house i need to put it up i'll put it up behind stream when we've actually got our proper stream room we have uh what do you call it like traditional style art uh it looks like traditional art but it's actually of katamari but like you don't notice that when you first look at it because it just looks like traditional art. <laughs> but it's actually, when you look at it closely, it's like, wait a minute, this is Katamari. Because it's got like the giant man in the sky and like, you know, they've got like all of this stuff in like this big ball, it's like an earth and then like the small person rolling it and it's like on a mountain kind of thing. So it kind of looks like traditional, but actually no, it's Katamari. <laughs> oh dear, right, these are all the same size. Let's pin all these together. Oh. Uh, it's convergent evolution for Wiglet. Ground, ground oh. Oh, okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Do you like how it looks? Also, have you managed to evolve Quaxly yet? Or is Quaxly still Quaxly? <laughs> no, Van Gogh either. It has a Dutch G. Oh, okay. <laughs> and a quick search. And apparently Q is based on the Japanese word Q. So it means to eat. So it's like, Ku. Oh my god, wait, that's really cute. I like that. Because, yeah, obviously they feed constantly. Sound of feeling if I, oh, it's one of those sounds. <laughs> Got you. I make tons of money and stuff like I loved theatre. Heck yeah. I know one person that used to work in a, she worked specifically in like set design. She always had a really good time. I was always a little envious of her work because I was like, first of all, it looks amazing, but also like, I want to do it. <laughs> oh dear, but I'm not qualified to do this at all. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, they're called Toeds Cool, Toeds Cool, and Toeds Cruel? Toed, Toeds, to Toeds, <laughs> I'm struggling with this one. Toeds School, Toeds Cruel? Okay, I love the Catamarmy. The Catamarmy is fantastic. Also, Felitas, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. We're currently making flower petals, lots and lots and lots of them. And we've done one test of painting, and you know what? I like it quite a lot. It's got blue at the edges. It's got like a definite blue tinge to it. And I'm a fan, I think it looks great. I'm gonna have to do this to all of them. Probably gonna do that tomorrow. Uh, so I did the music about Jack the Ripper and set was super cool, but I had to make cobblestone and paint it and you did it out of foam, oh my God. That's a, that's a masochist job right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Neb. Uh, it's toed. It's just a, a, a fancy way of saying twat. I don't think so. I think it's meant to be like toadstool, right? But it's like toed, twed, twed school, and twed's cruel. Yeah, it's playing on toadstool. That's kind of what I thought. Oh dear. I'm watching the first season of Critical Role. The moment I hear Matt Mercer scream in the back of my head, not the theater. <laughs> oh, see, I always meant to get into Critical Role. And I never did. I think personally as well, I, I much prefer to play D&D than I tend to, to watch it. I probably would have liked it if I'd watched it from the beginning, but because I never did, <laughs> I was kind of always a bit behind. Ah oh dear, I may still have that, what my stage manager decided a thank you note. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. Ah oh dear, right. How are we doing? Okay, only a couple hours. I probably won't go for super, super long today. 
because I'm a, again, as I mentioned earlier, I am quite tired today, uh, and I, I I think I'm probably gonna take a nap <laughs> after stream just to like try and get a bit of extra sleep in. You know how it is, adult adult things taking naps. <laughs> Oh dear, took uh, incredible long for myself to start watching. Yeah, it's it's like one of those things where you see the amount of episodes and you're like, oof, I don't know about that. But yeah, no, I think I think personally I probably enjoy playing more than I enjoy watching. Anyway, they look dope posting the Discord. Oh, did ya? Thank you. Oh. Oh, okay. I I don't know how I feel about this. Like, do I like it? I'm not sure. Oh dear. I. I'm, I'm just staring at this at this Pokemon. I think I like it. I think I think I would need more time to look at it. I think I li I'm very attached to Tentacruel's uh, original design, but like, I, th I think I like. I do really like Toadstools. I think Toadstools are really pretty. You know what? Yeah, I, th I think I think I like it. I think <laughs> I think I like it. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I take naps almost every day. It's an important part of being an adult. It's just the never-ending sleepiness. <laughs> very important. When you're doing that and actually follow it through. Yeah, I wanna I wanna actually take that now. Can I find a picture? Oh thank you! Ah oh dear. I should probably write less in chat and more letters. It's the end of the year and I wanna finish all the letters for holiday season. Oh, like uh like letters to friends and family kind of thing. Good luck. Yeah, I hope I hope your wrist is okay after all that. I always find after I have to do a lot of writing. Not that I honestly do a lot of writing anymore, but like when I did, I'd always find that my wrist would kind of ache from uh from writing so much. At some point, I have to sort out Christmas stuff, but... <laughs> oh, it's based on Jelly and Mushroom, they're running anime- Oh, of course, yeah, they would run, wouldn't they? God, it's so weird to think of them running. Uh, oh, have you found Snom in the game yet, Grobbit? I really- that's like the one thing that's kind of making you want to get the game at the moment, is like, I really just want to have a whole team of Snoms, and like, just have my Snom team and take them on a picnic and feed them sandwiches. I know that's not really how Pokemon's meant to be played, but like, that's what I want to do. I want to have a picnic full of snoms, uh, but you know. <laughs> oh dear, around 15 a plan that year. You cannot sleep yet, first you need to party. True, it's very important. Around everywhere in the ice mountains. Where's the Discord by the way? Exclamation mark Discord, Neb. Sorry, we don't have it as a link onto the stream anymore. I type, but could not actually write that much with a pen anymore. <laughs> also, Felicia, thank you for the party. I wondered if you were leading up to that. We like to party. We like, we like to party. We like to party. We like, we like to party. We like to party. We like, we like to party. We like to party. The Benga bus is coming, and everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco, an interstate free disco. The wheels are still on turning, and traffic lights are burning. So if you like to party, come on and move your body. Bam 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 bam. Oh, two seconds. Oh, actually, no, Shiny will be home. It's fine. I was like, that's the doorbell. But I think Shiny is here, so it's all right. Oh, dear. My copy of Violet is arriving today. Oh, my God. I keep running into them because are they small? Oh, my God. I hope you really enjoy it. I want to play with a whole team of rat mouse Pokemon this time. Oh, my God. They're so cute. Yes. Oh, dear. I play Pokemon exactly the way that I want. Heck, yeah. Why not? I would like to play Pokemon Violet and Scarlet at some point. It's a little expensive for me right now, coming up to Christmas. I think that's the one thing with releases that come up to Christmas. It's like, fair enough if you ask for it for a Christmas present, but like, uh, it's a little, a little expensive to just, yeah, like to afford for yourself. Because yeah, it's a, uh, like, like what is it, like a fifty cent quid game? <laughs> yeah, I, I'll be spending that on Christmas presents, I think, <laughs> rather than spending it on myself. Oh dear, but maybe in the new year I'll get it. Oh, oh, thank you for the hick, sorry. One day, one day I will play it. 
but yeah not on release this time it's just the timing it's just uh yeah when it came out i didn't want to get it but i managed to find a copy for 10 quid off heck yeah yeah that's the the thinking is it's christmas time i can't afford that <laughs> getting scarlet or violet uh, and did you get the physical oh that's a good question actually i if it's queener i'm gonna guess they got violet but i could be wrong that, that's the one I would guess. Which one did you get, Robert? I don't think I know. Oh dear. And there are still uh, like exclusives to each game, isn't there? So I guess yeah, it would make a difference. I really like Violet's exclusives, but I kind of like the I kind of like the red legendary bike that runs. <laughs> Violet and physical. I knew it. Ah, <laughs> uh, game says they don't like to discount things. Nah, exactly. So it's like. I know it's going to be like that much money, so I just, I just wait, wait until I have a spare like 50 quid lying around. I don't know when that's going to be, but at some point, ah, oh I'm planning on getting Violet. Ooh, I like Scarlet, but I guess that's the thing. Uh, Violet for Daddy Chiro. You all got Violet? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm like looking at Scarlet. <laughs> I just I, I I think it's stupid. I think the Pokemon Legendary is stupid because it has wheels and yet it runs. And that's what I want. I want the stupid legendary, the one that, that has wheels and yet chooses to run. And that's kind of the only thing that's uh, guided guided my choice. Super Fence of Scarlet, 15 have Violet, I guess it's clear which one the games prefer. Oh god. <laughs> Some people may choose Violet, yeah, I choose violence. Peace was never an option. I want a full team of snoms and I want to take over the whole the whole world with my snom team because Bell Bellsprout isn't in it. If Bellsprout was in it, then I would absolutely have a team of Bellsprouts. <coughs> but we, we live with what we've got. Most of my guy friends got Scarlet. Did they also enjoy the silly running Pokemon? <laughs> it's very understandable, I feel that. So this is helpful. <laughs> oh dear. I hope, I hope, yeah, it's useful to have the one that the people around you don't have, to be fair, because, yeah, then you can trade. Although, I guess I, none of none of what I've said I want is because of trading, it's because silly Pokemon does the run. Um, but yeah, it is useful to have other people around you who have other versions of the game for trading. So you can get your Pokedex completed. Go. Yeah. All right. There's a lot I need to do this week. I guess tomorrow we can do some painting, but oh, I also really need to get some prep done for the Starlight stream, but I could probably do that off stream if I want to keep that all as a surprise. But it's difficult, isn't it? There's like so much coming up. No clue, I haven't been paying attention to them. Everyone else I knew got Scarlet and they've all been begging, oh, bless you. See, that's what you want. You want to be like the person that everyone wants to trade with because then, uh, then you can get all the Pokemon you need relatively easily. Yes, yes. I do like more of the Violet exclusives, to be fair, but um, it's just the main Pokemon. That's it. Oh, also the Professor is cute, but like, I, I really don't care that much about the Professor, but like, but either of them, I'm just like, eh. But I like the idea of having every Pokemon. <laughs> and I think it'd be easy with Scarlet. And also, I like the stupid Pokemon. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. They just both look like bikes, but I know the purple one acts like a bike and the red one does not act like a bike. <laughs> so I want the red one. He doesn't understand. Ah, uh, dear. Out of interest, which starter would you get, Queena? Do you know? Do you have an idea? Have you seen them? Or is it all going to be a complete surprise for you when you open the game? <laughs> Got so many little, little lines of those there. Right. I will say, actually, I probably am going to end it there for today. I'm really sorry. I'm just really sleepy. There you go that out of there i'm really really sleepy and i probably need to go take a nap because <laughs> i don't know if you can tell but i'm just like <laughs> as the stream goes on and since we are uh, playing with fire quite literally probably best to go get some sleep <laughs> so stick around i'll find you someone we can all spend some time with who is uh streaming right now it's a little later than i normally am um but that's cool we like that we still enjoy that it means we can we can find some cool people and see see who is who is doing what and where and oh they're actually playing it today heck yeah in that case okay i'm gonna be raiding into bear because bear is playing breath of the wild and i actually love this game uh speaking of games that have come out on uh on switch that look really good that one 
Ah oh dear, I've only seen the first form, so like the little crocodile, the crocodile is very cute. So I usually try and have as many new Pokemon on my team as possible, and so I'm sure that there's only really one I wanted. And these games I'm so torn on who to include because there's so many, but that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. Alright, grab a raid call if you fancy. We'll be back tomorrow, probably much earlier in the day. I'm hoping for a good night's sleep tonight, and then we can come back tomorrow and do some either painting or prepping. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one I want to do yet. One or the other. We'll see. We'll see. I also, for some reason, cannot copy the raid message. Excuse me. Okay, listen, I'll, I'll copy the Nightbot bit as well. If you haven't met Bear before, they're a very, very sweet bean streamer on Twitch. They do like a variety of games and they also do art, but today they're playing Breath of the Wild, so I'll send you all to them. Have a lovely rest of your day, everyone. Take care. Let's go, let's go send some love towards Bear Boo. There we go. Bam, bam, bam.